road swing, and tonight will be the second one. Well, tonight on the road, as I stated earlier, very tough to play here at their Johnson Coliseum. Uh, set up for a good one, though. Sam Houston, of course, victorious back in mid-January versus Stephen F. Austin in a 49-41 to victory there. In that contest, you held them to well below 30% from the field. I believe it was only 12% from the three-point line. Just kind of your thoughts and mindset heading into a very tough atmosphere tonight, Coach. Yeah, that was a good game for us. You know, there was a lot riding on that one, um, you know, us trying to continue to – to gain momentum and, and, and play well in that period of time. And then we knew that, you know, we that was the first of three tough ones in a row because we had New Mexico State and Grand Canyon right after that. So um, a, a big win for us. I think the big thing that we did that day was execute defensively and our game plan was really good. And so tonight will be, you know, obviously we'll see how they counter with what we did to them last time. And then I think more than anything, we just got to make some shots. We didn't make very many shots that day. And, you know, we struggled offensively. A lot of that was, you know, due to their great defense but just got to do a better job tonight hopefully we can get some of those same looks and make them just two games remaining on the season of course this one here tonight uh, part of that two of three games on the road just how tough has this schedule been down the stretch here well I mean it's tough you know but when you play in good leagues you know it doesn't always necessarily fall in your favor uh, as to the time period of when you can play guys and you know whether you're at home or on the on the road I mean I just think when you play in good conferences you know sometimes it just doesn't always fall the way you want it to you know obviously we'd love to have you know this stretch at home uh but just just kind of the way it is and you know our guys know that i think we've dealt with the road and being on the road uh, we've gotten better as the year's gone on and improved in that and i think our guys have shown that we can do that we can win on the road we can play well on the road and i'm excited for tonight and the challenge and i think our guys are going to go out and play really good before we talk about the keys to victory, you guys came down a day early, even though it's a short drive, wanted to get the guys prepared, have them rested up. Just talk a little bit about that travel coming down the, the night before and staying here. Yeah, I think you almost have to do that. I mean, we got to leave for the airport at 9 o'clock in the morning for Arizona. So I think, you know, trying to get those guys in a bed and being able to get a, a full night's sleep, not getting up and having to go to class today and then driving all the way over and playing and then turn around and driving back home. I just thought it was the smartest thing to do in order to give us the best chance possible so our guys traveled well it was a good night's sleep and had a good walk through today uh, our, you know I think our spirits are really good and you know and even tonight after the game you know we'll get home by 11 30 you know those guys hopefully will get in bed by 12 and you know we don't have to leave for the airport till 9 15 in the morning so again I just think it was the best thing for us now it's time for coach Uden's keys of the game presented by Emblem Properties real estate coach is always your keys to victory in this one tonight well number one thing we've got to do is we've got to play tough we have to be physical and play tough like we did last time I thought we were the tougher team and usually in these battles you know the tougher team usually comes out on top so I think that's the number one thing and then you know, our defense has to be really good again we, we held them to you know below 30 percent but they're you know they're shooting 47 percent from the field so if we can hold them in the low 40s tonight I, I like our chances and then we've got to dominate the glass got to got to do a good job of rebounding they're always you know going to be a tough game got to be a tough rebounding team and then I think the last thing is just really doing a good job of taking care of the ball we had 18 turnovers last time that's that's far too many we've got to do a good job because against these guys if you'll move the ball and you'll take good care of the ball you'll end up getting some good shots and that's what we got to do is just get a bunch of good shots and good looks keys to the game brought to you by emblem properties real estate who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one moments away from tip off here in this fun on the battle of the piney woods hardwood edition coach as always good luck tonight and eat them up cats Thanks, Rob. Eat them up, cats. This will wrap up our pregame with head coach Jason Hooten. We'll have more looking into this one when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Back at it, friends. Rob Pip joining you here from William Johnson Coliseum in beautiful Nacogdoches, Texas. It is Sam Houston men's basketball versus the Lumberjacks of Stephen F. Boston. Going to be a tough one here today. And just a few moments ago, we normally have the anthem for you. I guess their sound system wasn't working here. And somebody in the crowd started leading the anthem, and everybody followed in. I wish we could have captured that for you on radio. Uh, but just an awesome sight. Of course, to today, tragedy overseas. Uh, with the, the dealings going on in Ukraine and, and Russia invading there. And uh, we are so blessed to be here in the United States, friends. I want to remind you of that and just how blessed we are. Well, Sam Houston here trying to continue their winning ways, entering today on a three-game winning streak after taking care of a very tough UTRGV squad in that 67-61 victory at Burke Ogden Arena on Saturday. The Bearcats entering this contest 17-11 overall, 12-3 in Western Athletic Conference play. They clinched at least a top five seed in the Western Athletic Conference tournament with that victory a few nights ago. The Vaqueros, they dropped a 7-20 on the season, only 2-13 in league play. Sam Houston in that ball game led by double figures several times in the second half, but UTRGV, they would not go away on its homecoming game. The Vaqueros cut that lead to 55-50 to with five minutes to go. Jaden Ray, who has been a spark for this team this season for the Bearcats, he knocked down two clutch three-pointers to push the lead back to 10 at 64-54. to The Bearcats' defense, they were able to close it out from there despite those Vaqueros going on a 5-0 run in the final 20 seconds. Savion Flagg, the Texas A&M graduate transfer, he had 17 in the ball game and eight rebounds, continuing his streak of double-digit points in every game that he has played as a Sam Houston Bearcat. Jaden Ray and DeMarcus light him up Lampley. They each had 10. Dante Powers, he had some shots to finish with eight points. And then the fan favorite, the seven foot two center out of Warsaw, Poland, Kuba Krawowski and Javion May chipped in. They had seven points apiece in that ball game. Stephen F. Austin, they bounced for their sixth straight win over Lamar, taking care of business there. In their previous game, they shot a blistering 46% from the field and defeated Lamar 70-56 to in Western Athletic Conference action. In their previous game, Sam Houston entering this one here on their home court, 18-8 overall, 10-4 in conference play. Lamar fell to 2-23. They have not won a game in the WAC yet this season. We'll keep an eye on them here in this ball game. Gavin Kinsmill, he had a game high 20 points on seven of nine shooting from the field. He grabbed eight boards in that victory over Lamar. The Lumberjacks, they had 33 points off the bench. Derek Tenezzo, we'll talk about him in this game. He had 25 minutes while scoring 14 points. He was also seven of nine shooting. And then Jalen Jackson Posey, he was also a factor and helped out with 13 points while handing out a game high five assists. Calvin Solomon for the Lumberjacks added 10 points. He hauled in six boards. Also, SFA won the battle in front of the basket and out-rebounded Lamar 38-26. As you heard earlier in that pregame with head coach Jason Hooten, one of the emblem properties, keys to victory in this ballgame, will be taking care of the board, also limiting turnovers. Tonight, we'll see if Sam Houston can do that here against an SFA team that averages 36 boards per game. Sam Houston still on top with 38 per game. They've cooled off a lot over the last couple of games, though, on those rebounds. Back to Stephen F. Boston, though. The Jacks, they forced the Cardinals into 25 turnovers it turned into 26 points the lumberjack utilized the fast break they outscored the cardinals 17 to 9. they're here in the battle of the piney woods hardwood edition the second and final game this season in the regular season 
right here in Nacogdoches, Texas. We're about three minutes until tip-off. I'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and tip-off. Stay with us, friends. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Back at it, friends, a very loud Johnson Coliseum here in Nacogdoches, Texas. If you hear me say Johnson, we're talking about the one up the road in NAC. As Sam Houston getting set for tip-off here in just a few moments. We'll go over those starting lineups tonight. We'll start with the home team, Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks under head coach Kyle Keller in his sixth season. 62 victories, 53 losses. He's the Oklahoma State alum from 1990. They'll start with the six foot one senior guard at a Pennsylvania Mineral Area College. It's number four, David Cackleries. The five foot 11 sophomore guard out of Chicago, Illinois, the transfer from Kansas, number 10, Latrell Jassel. A six foot seven junior forward out of Houston, Texas, a product of Pine Forest High School, number 13, Calvin Solomon. A six foot seven senior forward out of Suriname and the transfer from Corsicana, Texas out of Navarro College. It's number 14, Gavin Kinsmill. And last, but certainly not least, for the home team tonight, the C- Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, a six foot two senior guard out of Mexico, the New Jersey Institute of Technology, number 25, Diego Willis. Again for SFA, it's Cackleries, Dussel, Solomon, Kinsmill, and Willis. And here is your Sam Houston Bearcat starting lineup on the road for tonight. Around jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic, the jumper, the two-shot, the yes! There it is to Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby! It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court, it's Dante Powers. Hey, saying I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. 
At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11. I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12. I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot ten, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, number 13. I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three. I'm lighting him up, Demarcus. So once again for the visiting Sam Houston Bearcats tonight, the Texas A&M graduate transfer, Savion Flagg, Demarcus Lampley, Javion May, Tristan Ipe, and Jaden Ray. That is your Bearcats starting lineup. Sam Houston trying to go four in a row. It is game two of a three-game road stand. They took care of business down in the Valley at UTRGV in a 67-61 victory just a few nights ago on the 19th. And now here at Stephen F. Austin tonight, about to get underway. And then things don't get easier for the Bearcats. Another tough one coming up on Saturday. We'll have that call just outside of Phoenix at Grand Canyon, a 6 p.m. tip-off on Saturday. And then the Bearcats will close out the regular season at home, facing a very tough and capable Tarleton State team at 6.30 p.m. on March the 3rd. And then it's off to Vegas. It's not Hunts Vegas, it's Las Vegas. We'll be down at the WAC tournament March the 10th through the 12th. In that previous meeting between the Bearcats and the Lumberjacks back on January the 15th, it was a defense-fueled Sam Houston in that 49-41 victory over the longtime rival Lumberjacks. That one was back at home in Huntsville. Head coach Jason Hooten, he broke the record for the most wins in school history. The Bearcats held the Lumberjacks, as I mentioned earlier, just 26% shooting from the floor and 12 from behind the arc. Sam Houston also out-rebounded SFA 46-36. They had 34 of those were on the defensive glass. Savion Flagg led the Bearcats. He had 19 and six boards. He played the entire way, went the distance for 40 minutes. And then Jaden Ray, Rocket Man, he had 16 points. And the leadership under Javion May, he had a team high, eight rebounds. And it's always beautiful here as some of our servicemen as they rappel down the roof here at William R. Johnson Coliseum. Again, uh, just the pageantry always being in this arena. This arena is built for basketball. Of course, SFA is a basketball school, and their fans show up, and they show up in numbers. But the Bearcats are locked and loaded. They are ready to go tonight. I want to remind you that this game is made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Head coach Jason Newton just in front of us. We're on the right side. Cody Stark, the SID for basketball to my right. The bench to our right as well. Sam Houston in their road black jerseys. The black shorts with the triangles on each side of orange and white. The Bearcat Claw logo on the left side of the pant leg. SH written across the back. The numbers in orange outlined in white. And for the Jacks on their home court in their white jerseys, white shorts, the numbers in purple. The names across the back in purple. Jacks in front outlined in purple and white. And the numbers, and Solomon and Savion flag to tip off, and here we go. As the Lumberjacks control the opening tip, they will move from left to right. We're underway here in Nacogdoches at William R. Johnson. Ball up top to Solomon, goes over to Giselle here on the right wing. He's guarded by DeMarcus, light him up Lampley, down to Solomon. Solomon kicks it back out over the left wing, Kakaris. Kakaris trying to work around. Jaden Ray drops this one back off, top of the three. Back in the hands of Kinsmill. Gavin Kinsmill back over to Cackleries from the left wing. Three on the shot clock. They take a three here from the corner. That one no good. Ball battled around and it goes out of bounds off the Bearcats. So it will stay with SFA here. 19.28 to go, just underway, no score. Again, thanks for joining us. A lot of friends in the booth as well on our special social media feed in the booth presentation. We'll get to those as we go. Kakaris to inbound here as he fires one from the chest. Over to Giselle. Now it is Solomon here for Kinsmill. Actually, he drops it in and good. So Gavin Kinsmill gets the opening score. It is 2-0, 19-16 to go here in the first. And bounced out away. Solomon bringing the pressure, and he goes out of bounds off the Bearcats. So Sam Houston with the turnover here will get it right back to SFA. It's one of the keys to victory brought to you by Coach Hoot and Emblem Properties Real Estate saying you got to limit the turnovers here this evening in this ball game. We'll get back into action as this one fired in from Solomon. Way up top, the ball goes to Kakaris, guarded by Jaden Ray. Pass over to Giselle. He's got it now back over to Kakaris. Thought about a three. Now he'll take it from the right wing. That shot isn't there. Another offensive board here by Solomon. He's down inside the circle. Savion flag, good defense. Pass out to Giselle on the left wing. Three, good. 
So those offensive rebounds leading to points. SFA has an early 5-0 advantage as we're one minute and 10 seconds into this one on that Miller time game clock here in the first. As Jaden Ray and the Bearcats finally have it on the left side of the court for the first time. It's into the hands of the leader. Over to Javion May. Back over to Savion Flag near the right wing. High screen, Epe. Savion Flag elects to keep it here. Throws over the head. Back into the hands of Lampley. Lampley, a couple of left-handed dribbles. Picks it up at the waistline. Goes down to Jaden Ray. To Epe. Epe tries to put one up, but it's knocked away. Javion May has it. Back over to Flag. Thought about a three on the right wing. Darts this one down low, and it's turned over. He was looking for Epe. And it's knocked away Willis. Here comes SFA, and it goes off of their thighs and out of bounds. It'll go right back to the Bearcats. We're almost two minutes gone, 18-14 on that Miller time game clock. SFA leading 5-0 here on their home court. Sam Houston set to inbound. Savion flag, darts it over to Javion May, over to Ray. Ray guiding the offense as he'll cut across center here to the S of the SFA logo at center court. Now onto the left side, over the left wing. Ray with the ball in his right hand, bounce pass goes over to Javion May, right wing. May skips this one back to Ray on the right baseline. Drop it off, Epe, slam it home, baby! It's a left-handed dagger dropped into the bottom of the net. Thanks to the assist by Jaden Ray, the Bearcats are on the board, five to two. SFA with the lead, Kakaris up front from the left elbow, retreats, ball bounces back over to Willis. Willis guarded by May, picks up his dribble, right-handed pass up top to Giselle, guarded by Demarcus Lampley. Giselle from the left elbow, flings this one over, Kakaris, right wing three, good. Boy, this SFA team is hot, hot, hot from downtown to start this ball game. Sam Houston back with it here, trailing eight to two, 17-20 remaining on the Miller time game clock. As the Bearcats will bring it over to the left side, it's up top to Javion May. May with it here, goes over to Jaden Ray, right baseline. Now a wide open to Marcus Lampley. Goes for three, won't fall from the left corner. Rebound over to Solomon. Solomon quickly up front to Kinsmill, slam it home. It's 10 to two. And this SFA team is hot, shooting four of six to start this ball game. That'll take us to our very first timeout. Coach Hooten has had enough. And we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us, friends. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Back at it here with just a quick timeout by Sam Houston. Not our first media timeout. 17.01 to go here in the first. I'm Rob Hipp. Thanks for joining us. As we're on the road in Nacogdoches, Sam Houston men's basketball trails SFA 10-2. The Lumberjacks on a 5-0 run over the last 57 seconds, making four of their last five shots. And Sam Houston has turned it over two times. Bearcats have it here. Jaden Ray coming out of the timeout from right to left over the left wing, trying to work inside Cackleries, and he took an extra step and traveled. Coach Hooten was on a little kick down there, didn't get that call, and Jaden Ray turns it over. We'll go right back to the Lumberjacks here, leading 10-2 by 8, 16-51 to go in the first. Inbounding is Solomon. He's in front of his own bench on the left side. Bounces this one over to Kakaris in the backcourt near the WAC logo on the free throw line to the left side. He'll now waltz his way into the front court with Ray on him like a hawk. Left-handed pass. Goes over to Giselle. Giselle gets it poked away, but Solomon able to pick up on it on the left wing over the right wing. Kakaris down low. Separation is there. And this ball is batted away and stolen. Gavin Kinsmill couldn't hold on to it. Here come the Bearcats on the near side from right to left. It's Lampley on the left wing trying to go down low over to Epe. Losing the handle and it goes back to SFA. We got a whistle here and a foul's going to be called on to Marcus Lampley. Tough break there for the Bearcats. So that is Lampley's first personal. And I believe the first team foul for Sam Houston here to start this first half with 16.23 to go, trailing 10-2. to Bearcats have not scored in the last 133. As SFA will inbound here, moving from left to right. The inbound pass from Solomon over to Calcaries on the far side from left to right. Working around a screen over the right wing. As it was set up there by Tizano, he was down there. He's into the ball game now, by the way. Derek Tizano, the six foot five freshman on the left wing. Pass up top, back to Calgary's. Calgary's already three points. He's one of two from that three point line here to start this ball game. 
He'll bounce this one down to Kinsmill from the left elbow, trying to drive inside. Good defense down there, and a travel, and it's turned over. It goes right back to the Bearcats. That is the second turnover, I believe, here by SFA, and that should take us to our very first media timeout. 10-2 to two the score. Bearcats have it. When we come back from Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Back at it, friends. Rob Hip here live in Nacogdoches, Texas. The Bearcat men's basketball trailing the Lumberjack in the battle of the Piney Woods Hardwood Edition, 10-2, 15-57 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. I want to give a shout-out to some of our good friends joining us in the booth here this evening. Charles McDowell is saying, Bearcat Charlie says, Ax the Jacks, he's listening in from Montgomery, Texas. How about Diesel Nick? He's supporting the Bearcats from Dallas. I know that that is Part of a great family down there. We always hear from Damon Nicholas Jr.'s family, and good to hear from you tonight. Also, John Bulkmer back in Huntsville cheered on the Bearcats as well. As we'll get back into it here, coming out of the timeouts, Sam Houston trying to find a bucket here as they are scoreless in the last two minutes. They have it here to inbound. Ray quickly over to Epe at the top of the three. Left-handed dribble using his right hand to direct traffic. He's trapped here on the left wing. Up top to... Savion Flag. Flag almost lost it. Solomon was in front of him. Pass goes over the head now to the top of the three to Jaden Ray. And a bump foul there. Jaden Ray ran right into Jalen Jackson Posey. That's his first personal foul and the first team foul by the Jacks. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Sam Houston will inbound here, opposite from the score sideline. They're in front of some of the fans. The fans sit all over the court here. It's a great basketball venue, as I mentioned earlier. Javion May has the inbound over the corner. Here's Lampley trying to turn on the lights. Can't find it, and that's a miss three. Had a good look, just wasn't there. The rebound dropped off to Jackson Posey. Quickly, here come the Lumberjacks back on the right side. Up top to Solomon, now left wing three on its way. That one won't fall for Posey. Battled around, Kakoris has it. Right wing three, yes. And Cacoris with the pose after that three as he left it hanging for about four seconds, 13 to 12. It's SFA by 11 with 15 minutes to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. Bearcats have it back on the left side. Jaden Ray crossover dribble, drop off over to Lampley on the left wing. Lampley takes a few dribbles, now crosses over from the left elbow, finds Epe, baseline jumper too short, rebound Cacoris. And Cacoris trapped up a little bit in the backcourt. Two on one, he'll bring it now into the front court. Jacks have it here on that right side. Posey goes to Solomon. Solomon straight away two is good. And boy, SFA cannot miss a shot here. They are shooting six of 10. And on an 8-0 run and 11-2 run over the last 426, Bearcats trailing 15-2, 14-30 to go here in the first. Ray has it back on the left side. We got a whistle here. And a little foul called there on Derek Tazino. So Tazeno picking up his first personal, second team foul for the Jacks as Jaden Ray will head back over to the bench and in for the first time for Sam Houston. It's the 5'11 freshman guard, Javon Grant. Quickly inbounding, shot good off the right side of the glass for the Cats. Believe that was Savion Flag. It happened so fast down there. I'll have that official update for you in a minute. But for the Bearcats, that stopped a almost scoreless four minutes for them. 15 to 4, SFA with the lead. They've got the ball on the right side. As this one turned over. Javion Bay pickpocketed out of the air. It's one on one, right side, up high, no good. Ball battled around and goes right back here to SFA. Kinsmill has it, one on one. Epe skip, dip, flip, good. 
Off the right side, he made it look easy. A little skip to the loom on Arlen there, 17 to four. Bearcats trailing by 13, 13, 46 to go here in the first as Javon Grant has it on the left side. It was Savion flag earlier with that basket, by the way. Here's Javon Grant, far out there. He'll work inside, takes a jumper. This one, a two-pointer is good. Good look there for the freshman, dropping it in for two, 17 to six. SFA up front, 13, 24 to go here in the first. As the Jacks will bring it into the front court, Cackle guarded by May, trying to work the high screen off Solomon. He'll take another three on its way. Boy, that's an air ball. Somebody turned on the air conditioner and blew that one out of here. As Sam Houston will get it right back here. A couple of substitutions coming in for the Jacks in the first time. It's Day Day Hall, the six foot five freshman guard, into the ball game. Solomon will head over to the bench. Uh, alongside, I believe it is Jackson Posey. And also back into the game, trying to see who else that was that checked in. Day Day Hall was the one that checked in. Also, Latrell Giselle is back in. Bearcats have it here. It is Javon Grant who had the basket just moments ago on the previous possession. Also, Dante Powers in for the Bearcats. Here's Javon Grant inside the paint, flip it up. That shot no good, but a foul and two free throws coming up here for the Bearcats as Tristan Ipe, he fell hard down there. Luckily, he hopped right up. And for the Bearcats, the fan favorite checking into the game here in just a few moments, Kuba Krawowski. That foul was called, by the way, on, I believe it was on Gavin Kinsmill. It's the third team foul. Kinsmill picking up his first. And at the line here, Javon Grant, the freshman, a 62% free throw shooter, eight of 13 this season. He buries the first one, splashed it at the bottom of the net. Skuba will check into the ball game for Tristan Ipe. He'll get a high five from head coach Jason Hooten and assistant coach Mudge. Also, Seth over there giving him a five, as well as assistant coach Bailey and the rest of the bench. One more free throw attempt coming up for Grant. He made the first one, the second one on the way from the right hand, good as well. Bearcats needed it. Grant gave it to him, 18 to seven. Sam Houston trailing, 12.53 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. Posey has it on the right side for the Lumberjacks. High screen there by Antwi Pozako and a three-pointer from the left wing. Good for Latrell Giselle, who checked back in just a few moments ago. Antwi Boasico is a sophomore, 6'9 forward. We'll call him Nana. Over to, that's his first name. Kuba Krawowski has it over to Dante Powers. Skip this one, jump shot off the right hand, bounces around, played a little pinko and dropped into the rim. It's 20 to 10, Sam Houston trails by 10, 12, 17 to go here in the first. As the Jacks bring it back into the front court from left to right, Posey trapped out there on the right wing. He'll go to Giselle, back over top to Posey at the three. He'll take a long three, this one on the way. That one ricocheted off the left side of the glass, rebound to Javion May on the near side now with the gold shoes from right to left. Dante Powers now at the F of the SFA logo at center court. Left-handed dribble, crisscrossing his way behind the back. He'll flip it over his left shoulder to Savion Flag. Flag step back jumper way too strong. May's there to clean it up. Drop it in and good off the right side of the glass. And the Bearcats finding a little bit of a rhythm now as they're trailing by eight, 20 to 12, 11, 36 to go here in the first half. Posey into the front court, guarded by Grant. Stickley defense there by Grant, almost knocking it away. Posey using the left arm to push off, high screen. No call on that one, goes back over to Hall, over the head pass to the left wing, Giselle. Back up top to Posey. Posey picks up his dribble, tries to fire this one down low. It's batted around, falls into the hands of Hall. A slam tried to go down by DeSano, it wouldn't fall, and the Bearcats have it on the far side from right to left. It's Dante Powers. Powers, he'll find Grant long, three air ball up the front of the rim, actually it went short of the front. 20 to 12, the score, the Bearcats trailing with 11.04 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. 
Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Welcome back, friends. Thanks for joining us here live in Akinosis, Texas at Sam Houston Men's Basketball, trailing the Lumberjacks 20 to 12. Still a lot of time to go, though. 11.04 on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. Again, a lot of friends joining us in the booth. We'd love to keep talking to you. Our good buddy, Eric Powers, he is listening and watching from Mississippi. I was talking to Cody earlier saying, do we see Eric Powers in the house? He's normally at most of the games. Tonight, though, not here. He is back at home in Mississippi. We appreciate you, Eric, and also our good buddy, Brian Nicholas, is cheering on the Bearcats, of course, his son down here playing, as always, Damon Nicholas Jr. We'll get back into action here as SFA will inbound this one way deep back in the backcourt. And to bring it in here is Day Day Hall. He'll fire this one in. Pass goes over to Posey. Posey guarded by Grant from left to right. Dead center as he crosses over. Right-handed sneaky dribble to the left hand. He'll pick up his dribble now. This one goes up top here to Kinsmill. Kinsmill at the top of the three over the head pass to Posey. Posey on the right wing, goes back over to Jessel at the top, now rotating over to the right wing. Pass goes to Hall. Hall looking, pump fakes once over his head, now goes to the left wing, finding his teammate Solomon. Solomon back over to Posey, takes a jumper good at the bottom of the net. Nice rhythm and shot there by Jackson Posey. It's back to a 10-point advantage for the Jacks. Bearcats trail 22 to 12, 10-20 to go here in the first. As Grant will bring it from right to left, behind the back dribble to his left hand. Passes over Kuba Kowalski. Kuba darts one over. Jaron Cook wasn't ready for it, and it's turned over. It was bobbled around the fingertips of Jaron Cook, and it goes out of bounds and a turnover. 22 to 12, Sam Houston trails 10-18 to go here in the first. And for the Bearcats, I believe that's their fourth turnover of the ball game. SFA will bring it into the front court here. Jaden Ray almost swiping it away from Posey. Posey into the front court. Ray on him like a tack. Finds it over to the right wing. Giselle. Giselle launches one to Solomon at the top of the three. Down low. Turned over. Savion flag. Read it like a book. On the far side, Jaden Ray. He'll bring it into the front court here. Now stops as he works his dribble for a moment. Hesitates at the top of the three. Finds Cook on the left wing. Cook scoots one over to Dante Powers to Kuba. Kuba over the head to Cook. Right wing three. This one off the left side of the rim. It won't fall. Bearcats have went cold from downtown. Now 0 of 4. They have not been able to find anything so far from behind the arc. 22-12. Sam Houston trails by 10. 9.35 to go here in the first. Jacks have it on the right side. Giselle trying to work from the free throw line. Launches this one over. It's out of bounds. Posey couldn't hold on to the handle. And a turnover here will give it right back to Sam Houston. As the Bearcats, six turnovers so far by SFA, five for Sam Houston. And we'll get back into it here as Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court. His catch trailing by 10. Ray guarded by Kakaris, back in the ball game. Crossover dribble from the right to the left hand, high screen flag. Ray loses the handle, but pings it over. Here's a three. This one on the way by Powers won't fall from near that right wing, and the rebound high up into the air to Solomon. Solomon quickly up front. Head to Kinsmill. He'll find Hall, left side, bank it home and good. That fast transition leading to score, 24 to 12. Sam Houston trails here, under nine minutes to go on the Miller time game clock, Jaden Ray. He'll work it here from right to left. Cackleries on him, Savion flag with the high screen, knocked away, Ray saves it. Ray has it here, so he'll go back over. Here's a three by flag, this one no good off the left side. Boy, the refrigerator is on. The cold is setting right now. Here's a three the other way, and it's not cold for the Lumberjacks as Giselle launches one down for three. SFA leads now 27 to 12 with 8.33 to go here in the first. We'll step aside and take a break. 
We will take this one for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Come out of the timeout here. Sam Houston men's basketball trailing the Lumberjacks 27 to 12. Thanks for joining us here this evening on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. I'm Rob Hip. We'll get turned up a little bit here. Sorry, I've been a little bit quiet here. I got an awkward setup. Our equipment actually has to rest on the floor down here. It's pretty tied up here on the scorer's table. As Sam Houston will inbound Savion Flag awaiting the officials here to give him the go-ahead to get this one back in play. And here we go, a Savion flag up to Dante Powers. Powers will dance his way into the front court from right to left over the left wing, guarded by Kakaris, working a right-handed dribble. Zings this one over to Demarcus Lampley, goes back over to Savion, uh, beg your pardon, Jaden, back over Savion flag, straight away three is no good. Javion May with the offensive rebound. Here's a three, left wing by Powers, rattles in and out. May with another offensive rebound. Trapped as he was falling out of bounds, finds Flag. Flag puts up the shot, he's fouled, it won't drop in, but two free throws coming up for Savion Flag. So the aggressiveness of Sam Houston staying after it will give the Bearcats an opportunity here at the free throw line. Savion Flag been working on those free throws. He's 65 of 126, only 52% this year. And he was just having a talk with the officials. His jersey is ripped. I mean, it was ripped all the way from the Bearcat logo down below number one. I mean, a huge hole and a rip there by Savion Flag. They're going to have to try to find him another jersey to put on. So if that's the case, I don't know if they'll have another number one. He's going to have to wear something else. I mean, that was a ferocious hole up there. It looked like somebody tried to open him up for open heart surgery. Again, 27 to 12, 8.04 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. As the equipment manager, Seth, quickly going through the bag here to our right side, trying to find a jersey that will fit him. Kevin also out there, the strength and conditioning coach, as he takes a look at it. I mean, that thing is just ripped up. Coach Bailey, he's going to run back to the locker room and see if they've got something. So that is what the pause is right now. Savion may have to come out here for a second. Nope, they found him. Well, they're going to go ahead and let him play with that jersey on right now, even though it's got a hole in the front of it. So the officials have made the determination that he can continue to play, at least for now, with that jersey. Savion Flag will step back into the game. And two free throw attempts coming up here for the Texas A&M graduate transfer. Again, that score 27 to 12, 8.04 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. Flag at the line here on the left side. Has that full leg brace on the left leg. First free throw, right hand on its way. No good, it bounced off the back of the 10. He'll have one more attempt coming up. So misses the first one. One more here for Savion Flag. Loud crowd here. Savion, by the way, was two of three versus UTRGV. He'll make the second one. So Flag splits the pair, 27. 13 the score sits here. Sam Houston trailing by 14. As the Jacks will bring it into the front court. Cackle has it on the right side. Right-handed pass goes over to Hall. Hall to Tazeno. Back over to Cackle near the left wing. Trying to go on the high screen. Powers poking it away. Cackle able to hold on to it. Bounce pass. Back to Solomon. Solomon trying to work. He'll go to Kakaris. Right wing three on its way. This one no good. And a rare miss in this ball game. Savion Flag looked like he was held up, and he goes right back here in an and one by SFA. That's a tough break for the Bearcats. As Solomon laid it up and in. The foul is on Dante Powers. That's his first personal. And only the second team foul by Sam Houston. That'll take us to another media timeout. Bearcats trailing 29 to 13. We'll step aside for 90 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. 
She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sam Houston only shooting 5 of 18 at 27% on the flip side. It's Stephen F. Austin, the Jacks on their home court. A blistering 63%, 12 of 19. That's one of many reasons the Jacks are leading right now, 29 to 13. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us again. Rob Pip here on the road in Nacogdoches, Texas. Sam Houston men's basketball trails the Jacks 29 to 13. As Sam Houston got to find a way to put some shots in the basket. It's a good crowd here as always at William R. Johnson Coliseum. More friends joining us in the booth. Chad Webb saying eat them up cats. Also our good friend Anine Thompson. She is watching the girls game. Girls are playing a, a very tough Stephen F. Austin Lady Jack team tonight at home at Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. Those Lady Jacks, by the way, on a 15 game a winning streak of their own. They are undefeated in WAC conference play. So we'll see how the women fare tonight here as they have really found their rhythm back in the WAC conference after dropping several to start league play. They went on a nice streak, dropped one or two, and trying to keep things alive here. We'll get back into it as the officials whistle this one back into action as Sam Houston will inbound this basketball to start. Savion Flag has it. And actually, I beg your pardon, it's going to be free throws. There was free throws. It was an and one as Calvin Solomon slammed it home before that long break. So we'll have an and one opportunity here. Solomon, the six foot six junior forward, a 58% free throw shooter, misses this one. Kowalski is right there with the box out and the rebound. He's easily the tallest one on the court at seven foot two for your Bearcats. Here comes Dante Powers and Sam Houston from right to left. The gold shoes over the left wing. Uh, guarded here by Jackson Posey. Power, several right-handed dribbles. Now a right-handed pass over to Lampley. Almost stolen by Calgary's Lamp able to strike it back. Over to Savion Flag, down to nine on the shot clock. Trying to work inside here, and a reach-in foul is called on Calvin Solomon. So Solomon will pick up a foul that I believe is his first personal. And that is the fifth team foul by SFA. Not in the act of shootings. Javion May will inbound this one opposite sideline from the scores table on the far side. Over to Savion Flag. Flag directing the offense here. Crossing over from his left to his right hand. Back to his left hand. Hop, skip. Slam it down. Kuba Kurwowski. It's an alley oop, baby, from Savion Flag as he raised it way into the air. And Kuba Kurwowski was there to slam it home on the right side. 29 15, Bearcats trail. 6.50 to go, and now an offensive foul. The turnover goes right back to the Bearcats. It was a push off there by Dade Hall. It was his first personal. And the six-team foul, so one more will put the Bearcats in the bonus with 6.49 to play. By the way, at the next break, we'll go back to the flagship studio to get a score update from Carlos Zimmerman. Back in action here, Dante Powers has it on the left side, crossing over dribble, Jackson Posey on him. Powers, couple of right-handed dribbles, still has it on the court. On that right side of the Texas logo, another alley-oop, this time trying to go to Savion Flag, and it was a miss. Rebound over to the Jacks, Tezino. Pounce pass down on the left baseline to Hall. He'll try to work here, puts up a shot. Kurwowski says, get it away from me, baby. Kurwowski wrestles his way with the ball, and Sam Houston has it. It's over to Javion May. I think the SFA fans were wanting an offensive foul, but too bad they didn't get it. Dante Powers has it at the top of the three. We're going to dribble here. It's stolen. And now Powers is reaching in, and a hard foul there by Dante Powers. He was just trying to reach in and snag that ball back from Jackson Posey. So Powers will pick up his second personal and only the third team foul by Sam Houston. Jaden Ray at the scores table. He will check in for Dante Powers. Powers gets a pat on the back from head coach Jason Hooten and a stand up from his bench as he heads back to our right side. And inbounding here is Tazeno. In front of some of the fans on that opposite end of the scores table on the right side. 29-15, they may go back and review this one just to see possibly where the clock is at. The officials here want to look at this one. 
We do have that replay screen here to our left side. We'll go ahead and take a 30 second break while they review this. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Officials in front of us are still going back reviewing this play. And trying to get some direction here. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest, what they're looking for, even though they're right in front of us. Didn't really hear what they're saying. They're wanting the replay officially here to back it up. I think they're just looking at the clock to see where that clock sits. 6.05 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. 29-15 the score. Sam Houston trailing in this long-time rivalry game. You know, this is a, a game that has a lot of history. Goes back to 1973 on the hardwood, at least as far as the records go. 54 wins, 47 losses for SFA. They won 13 in a row versus your Bearcats from 2012 to 2016. They lost nine in a row from 98 to 02. And here at home, they are ferocious, 34 wins and 13 losses. So they will reset the shot clock. That's what they were looking at. And inbounding here, are the Jacks. It's Posey. Posey has it. Bounced down low over to Solomon. Solomon working here on Kowalski. Goes back up top. Posey from the parking lot. Good. Boy, they cannot miss tonight from downtown. It was straight away from a mile and knocked that one in as it splashed the bottom of the net. 32 to 15. Sam Houston in a huge hole here. Jaden Ray has it. Down pass to Savion Flag. The assist. The shot. Good. 32. 17. Bearcats trailing. 5.33 to go here in the first. Posey has it back over on the right wing. Hit that three straight away earlier. Picks up his dribble here. Flag is guarding him over the right-handed pass. And maybe a foul down there on JV on May as he was trying to reach around. It is. So that is JV on May's first personal. Only the fourth team foul by Sam Houston as Tristan Ipe will check back in for Kuba Kurwowski. On the court for the Bearcats, it is Lampley, May, Flag, Ipe, and Ray. Kakaris inbounds over to Solomon. Give and go back over to Kakaris here near the right wing. Right-handed pass as he will find Posey. Posey trying to work a right dribble. JV on May reaching in. Good defense here. Bounce this one over to the right baseline. Solomon floats this one over to, to Zeno. Puts up a shot no good. And Ipe making an impact already with the rebound here. Far side, Ray. The right wing, it's Lampley. Long two-point jumper, good at the bottom of the net. Great ball movement and a beautiful shot there by DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley. Bearcats trailing 32-19, 4.50 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. Kakoris has it on the right side. He'll find Hall up top. Chest pass goes over to Hosey here. Hosey floats up a jumper. This shot is no good. The rebound, DeMarcus Lampley. Bearcats trying to find a little bit of a run here in a hole. 32-19, 4.34 to go. Here in this first half, as Sam Houston brings it over, Ray has it, 15 on the shot clock, plenty of time on the left wing, he's guarded by Posey. Pass over, near the left baseline to Savion Flag. eight seconds on the shot clock, he'll take a jumper, that shot's no good. Ipe battles it away and it goes out of bounds off of his fingertips. It was a good effort down there though by Tristan Ipe, it'll go right back to the Jacks. Savion Flag with five points in his ball game. Two of six shooting, he's 0 of two from downtown. Bearcats as a team, only 35%. They are seven of 20, but 0 of eight from three-point land. That's not a characteristic and a number that you normally see for a Bearcat team that shoots 35% compared to 32% from downtown for SFA. They are 13 of 21 and 62% from the field and also six of 12 from three-point land here to start this game. So 4-11 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. Jacks leading on their home court, 32-19. Deep breaths going on here for Dede Hall as he's set to inbound in just a few moments. He is breathing hard. He has played a very hard first half here for this SFA team. He'll go to Posey. Posey from the back court into the front court from left to right. Over to the right wing, pass goes around. Posey back over to Giselle on the left wing, guarded by Lampley. Pass chest goes over to Day Day Hall, back to Posey. Posey trying to fend down low to Ken's Mill. His jumper no good, but they're clean it up and slam it down as Day Day Hall. So Day Day Hall took advantage of it and slammed it down as it ricocheted off the rim. It's 
34 19, 339 to go. Bearcats trailing here in the first half, moving from right to left. Jaden Ray drops it off over to Epe, was calling for it back over to Ray. Ray on the left baseline, has separation, puts it up, and one. Rocket Man turned on the Jets, called NASA, zinged inside, dropped it up, and good. And the Bearcats have called a timeout here. 34 21. Sam Houston trailing with 329 to go. We'll send it over to the flagship studios to Carlos Zimmerman for a wax scoreboard update. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here at the flagship here in the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Your score between SFA and Sam Houston here at the under four media time. Out the Lumberjacks. They are leading big right now, 34 to 21. Let's go around the whack, why don't we? Abilene Christian, currently at the under-16 media timeout. They lead Lamar 9-1 to right now in a game for Lamar that they need to win to try and get into Wack Vegas or winless in the Western Athletic Conference. Utah Valley in a Seattle. They're battling over in Orem, Utah. This is a game the Bearcats need to watch. Utah Valley up 6-3. And Tarleton is currently up 16-8 over UTRGV. 12 minutes left to go. One game hasn't gotten underway yet. California Baptist and Dixie State, they get underway at the top of the hour at 8 p.m. Now let's get you back over to William R. Johnson Coliseum and Rob Hip. Appreciate you, Carlos Zimmerman. Again, Carlos back at the flagship. We are down here 34-21. to 21. Sam Houston fine, trying to find a little bit of life here with about 410 remaining, actually 329 remaining on that Miller time game clock. As Sam Houston was scoreless over the last 41, but they finally found some rhythm. Bearcats in this ball game were all tied up on the rebounds. Early on, Sam Houston was out rebounded, now tied at 12 apiece. The Cats have five on the offensive glass, seven defensive rebounds, and each team was seven turnovers so far. As we went back earlier in that free game, talking about the Emblem Properties real estate keys to victory for head coach Jace Newton. Number one, he said. The Cats have to play tough and physical. Number two, the defense has to be good and limit the turnovers. The third, Sam Houston has to dominate the boards tonight. And then fourth, limiting uh, those turnovers. We talked about that earlier. That kind of tied in with the defense playing good as well. We'll see how Sam Houston can fare here over those last 329 on that Miller time game clock in the first. Savion Flag, Epe, Ray, Lampley, and May. All your starters back on the court here for Sam Houston. And Jaden Ray for the and one opportunity. He made it earlier before that media timeout. He'll shoot him here on the left side. Sam Houston's Jaden Ray, Oklahoma. The young man grew up in the state there. And inbound pass will go to him. And he'll take the free throw here in just a few moments. Bends his knees, left-handed free throw and one off the front of the rim. No good. Got to hit those. And it's knocked over to Giselle. 34-21. Sam Houston trailing here by 13. Cacarese brings it into the front court using his left arm to fend off Jaden Ray. Back over to Diego Willis, one of the starters who's back in the ball game on the left wing to Kinsmill at the free throw line with his pink shoes on. Back to the left wing to Willis. Willis on the left baseline. Slings this one over. I don't think he meant to pass it down there to Dede Hall. He was looking up top to Kinsmill. Hall was there, intercepted it, and dropped it in and good. 36-21, 2.53 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. Jaden Ray on the far side from right to left. Kinsmill on him. Bounce pass down to Epe. Trying to fling one over, and it gets stolen and turned over. Hall has it. Up front quick. Cackery's left wing three. Yes. Cackery splashing it home again. Boy, what a game he is having now with nine points. Three three-pointers, all of them here in this ball game. It's Cackery's clapping in front of Jaden Ray, trying to... Put a little pressure on him. Ray on that right wing, feeding it down low. JV on May. May drop it off, and Tristan Epe knocks it in off the right side of the glass. Good assist down there by JV on May. 39 23. Sam Houston trails. 2.07 to go. Cacarese for the Jacks. Have it back on the right side. As he'll retreat near the half court line. Right handed bounce pass over to Diego Willis on the right wing. May is on him. Good defense. Drop off to Giselle. Giselle fires one over to Kinsmill from the right elbow. Kinsmill battling Epe. It's turned over as Savion flagged to May. May right side and a blocking foul. Javion May will go to the line here shooting two. It was a good job down there by Willis trying to take the charge. But he was moving. So Diego Willis picking up his first personal. 
And that is the eighth team foul by the Jacks. As JV on May will shoot the free throws here on the left side. So JV on May, two of them coming up here, the six foot two junior guard, only a 45% free throw shooter. May was one for two in the victory versus UTRGV in the previous matchup. So May here on the left side, two free throw attempts. He'll bend his knees in the yellow shoes, the right handed free throw, no good. It bounced its way off. Bearcats now only three of six from the charity stripe. One more attempt coming up here for JV on May as Calvin Solomon checks back into the ball game for Gavin Kinsmill. One more opportunity here for JV on May. He'll take a deep breath, looks up into the air, bends his knees, right-handed free throw. This one good at the bottom of the net. Bearcats needed it. They got it there from JV on May, one of two. 39-24, Sam Houston trails, 1.30 to go here in the first. As Kakari's trying to fend his way inside on Jaden Ray, finds Willis over on the left wing, up top to Solomon. Solomon holds the ball above his head, now puts it down, runs in, looked like he took an extra step. And we got a whistle here. And what do we got a foul against Sam Houston. Yep. It's gonna be on Tristan Ipe, the breath man, a little tic-tac there, pulling him out. And a free throw is coming up here for Solomon. Solomon on that right side. Four points so far. He's 0 for 1 from the free throw line. He'll bend his knees on the right side. Right-handed free throw. First one good. One more coming up here for Calvin Solomon, his fifth point of the night. Lumberjack shooting 59% here in this first half. Second free throw attempt on the way. This one good as well. He makes both of them. And it's 41 to 24. So friends, a lot different here in this ball game versus the matchup back in mid-January. As Huntsville victorious in that ball game versus Stephen F. Austin, 49 to 41. So SFA has already met their point total here in the first half of that previous matchup. Jaden Ray to the left side, wiggles around, Kakari's left side, good! As he turned on the Jets again, and almost stealing it on the inbound was Jaden Ray. Kakari's to the right side, quickly to Tazino. Tazino up top over to Solomon from the free throw line, driving inside, holds his shot, won't fall, and they ripped it out of the air as Tristan E. Pay to the far side, Jaden Ray to JV on May. May, he'll go back over to Lampley on the right wing to Jaden Ray, 46 seconds to go here in the first half. Ray back over to Lamp, Lamp, right baseline jumper. Good shot as it drops in and good for DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley. There's about a five second differential. Well, they haven't even started that shot clock yet. Hey, the shot clock didn't even start yet. Boy, they let that, that shot clock did not start. There was about five seconds that came off and hopefully they'll go back and look at that because the shot clock did not start for about five seconds and that left only .3 differential. We'll see if they review it here in the timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Well, to be honest, I thought they were going to review that uh, senior in that timeout, but they just let it stand, and that's a tough break for the Bearcats because now it's 24.3 on the game clock, 24 seconds on the shot clock. That clock, from my vantage point, did not move the shot clock for about five seconds, which would have given Sam Houston an opportunity for the last shot of this first half. They're not going to get that now unless they can get a steal here or on a quick miss by the Lumberjacks, but I would expect the Lumberjacks to hold as much as they can. They're leading 41 to 28, and here we go back into action. Over to Posey here. Posey on the right side, JV on May guarding him. He'll retreat with the right-handed dribble over to his left hand. Still running clock down to 14. They're just gonna continue to run it here, as I said, down to 10, clock now tricking down. Posey, May on him. Posey off the high screen to the left wing, bump from behind, stepping back down to one. He's not gonna get it off in time. And wait a minute, we've got an offensive foul. It's an offensive foul with .8. That offensive foul 
was on Calvin Solomon. Can we check the clock? And that's why Coach Hooten's wanting this clock looked at. And again, friends, I just said, if you go back to when that shot clock did not start earlier, Sam Houston would have had about five seconds on the clock. And I don't even know if they're going to look at it here. Hooten is asking the officials, can we please check the clock? So Sam Houston going to run their touchdown play here with point eight. And I mean, all you can really do is get it in and, and get a quick pass and then a shot. JB on May will inbound. Bearcats all the way on their backside of the court. They're going to have to go quickly here. On the court also down there is Tristan Epe, Jaden Ray, Demarcus Lampley, and Savion Flag. Inbounding here, May quickly over to Flag, loses the handle, and that'll do it here in the first half. Sam Houston, they'll go into the locker room, trailing at the half, 41 to 28, not to be a broken record, but I go back to when that shot clock didn't start. Bearcats would have had four or five. They could have set up a better play. They don't get that opportunity, and they will go into the locker room here shooting. And while they've kind of picked it up, 44% now, 12 of 27, if that number is correct. 16 of 28, though, for the Lumberjacks. We'll step aside. We'll take a break. Carlos Zimmerman back at the flagship studios. He'll have that halftime show for you coming up. Stay with us, friends. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. And good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We are at the break in Nacogdoches, Stephen F. Austin. Up big right now against your Bearcats, 41-28 to going into the break. I'm your studio host, Carlos Zimmerman, and let's go ahead and take a look back at that first half for the Bearcats. A little bit of a rough one, and they're going to have to de definitely make some adjustments going into that locker room. Going in through the first four minutes of the ball game, SFA got a quick start after just a minute and ten had came off the board. They led 5 nothing out of the gate. That quickly expanded to a 10-2 lead for the Lumberjacks following a Ken's Mill dunk in transition, forcing a Bearcat timeout. And then the score remained the same going into the under-16 media timeout. As the game continued to progress, I, I mean, I basically wrote it down and said, SFA just cannot miss. 6 of 10 out of that under-16 Media time out and Cacklery's just nailing three after three. And then it was 15 to four with about 14 minutes left in the half. But then, despite SFA nailing down some shots, the Bearcats were able to cut it to 20 to 12 at the under 12 media timeout. That was the lowest they've been able to get the score since the opening few points. And then once we got to the halfway point of the first half, a turnover for the Cats out of their first possession of the timeout. Not what you want if, uh, if you are a Bearcat. But SFA kept turning it over as well. But here's the difference, folks. The Bearcats turning it over, that's one thing. But then SFA turns it over. They just could not convert, could the Bearcats, on the other end of the court. And when SFA would miss, they still couldn't convert, despite the fact that SFA has been shooting well. And then a turnover for the Bearcats usually turned into points for Stephen F. Austin. So it's just a game of 
a lot of mistakes and some breaks not going the way of the Bearcats, just like there was at the end, where the Bearcats could have had five seconds. Instead, they had .8. But as we, we'll get to that in a minute, as the three in this ballgame has also not been working for the Bearcats, going 0 for 8, near that under 8 media timeout. And, however, the three has been working for SFA at the under 8 media timeout. They were 5 of 10, shooting 50% from the field, and they led 29 to 13 at the under eight, under 8 media timeout. The Bearcats were 5 of 19 from the field at that point. And then as the game progressed, Kuba Korowski, as Rob calls him, the fan favorite, was able to get an alley-oop dunk to bring the lead back down to 29-15. But as the under 4 media timeout kept coming closer, the Bearcats continued to struggle shooting, but they have gotten they got the lead to 34-21. to That's the closest it's been all night long. And here we go. Here, here's the idea again, folks. SFA just cannot miss tonight, and that is why your score is 41. Stephen F. Austin, 28. Sam Houston, and the significance of that: SFA had 41 points in the total game against the Bearcats at home. They've already achieved that tonight in one half. Going over the teams, uh, the individual stats, I should say, so far for the Bearcats. Savion Flag, he's got five points right now, two of seven from the field. Got to get that guy going. He's 0 of two from three as well. Javion May, he's played in 18 minutes. He's got three points, one of two from the field. Tristan E. pays two of four, shooting 50% right now. He's got four points. Jaden Ray's also got four points, as does Demarcus Lampley and Javon Grant off the bench for the Bearcats for the young freshman. Dante Powers has a bucket, as does Cooper Kowalski. Jaron Cook has also seen the court for the Bearcats, but has not scored in this game so far. Looking at the team's stats before we head to our first break, Bearcats shooting 12 of 27 from the field, 44.4%. Not going to get it done tonight, but look at SFA on the other side. 57% from the field, 16 of 28. Here's the big difference. 0 of 8 from 3 for the Bearcats, 7 of 13 for the Lumberjacks. That's a 21-point swing. You wipe out those threes for SFA, your Bearcats are leading 28-20. That's really been the difference tonight is the Lumberjacks shooting 53.8%. At the free throw line, the Bearcats need to work on that too. Four of seven at the charity stripe. The Lumberjacks haven't made many trips tonight. They are two of three. The rebounding battle currently being won by SFA, 13-16. Five offensive rebounds for both sides in this one so far tonight. No ties in this ball game. SFA has led the entire way here tonight outside of the opening 0-0 score. When we come back, we'll have the keys to the second half for the Bearcats if they want to pick up a huge win tonight. We'll also take a look at the college basketball scoreboard. So don't go away, folks. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Back here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show, here's your keys to the second half here for the Bearcats tonight. Just the simple one. Got to make your shots. That's really the big key here. Got to make your shots, especially if they're open looks. I mean, it's easier said than done. I mean, they do it better than I ever could at the collegiate level if I was ever given that opportunity. But you've got to make your shots down the stretch 
of this ball game. Close out on Stephen F. Austin. Don't give them anything easy. They've had a lot of easy opportunities. Granted, it's very subjective when you say that in terms of is it easy shots or is it hard shots, but don't give them anything that they can for sure knock into the bucket. Contest those shots. Another thing, win the battle of the boards. You're currently losing that battle 16 to 13. Got to do that. And the key we've been saying all season long, make your free throws. Got to be paramount about that down the stretch. And then really the last key, Force you, you're forcing the turnovers, it's working, but you gotta convert on the other end if the Bearcats are gonna claw their way back into this one. That's your keys to the second half. Time to take a look at the college basketball scoreboard up in Abilene right now. The Wildcats leading 22 to 9 over Lamar. Abilene Christian trying to get ready for their big run in WAC Vegas. Seattle has made it interesting against Utah Valley. Quite a defensive battle. They are at the under eight media right now. Utah Valley is only leading 14 11 over in Orem. Tarleton all over UTRG. TV right now 31 to 18 with four minutes left to go in the first California Baptist and Dixie State they get underway in about 25 minutes over in St. George Utah and then around in the top 25 not a single top 25 game has gotten underway tonight the big one that everyone's going to be talking about is Ohio State against Illinois that game tipping off at 8 p.m. later tonight here's what's at stake for the Bearcats in this game if they can come back and win and get a Seattle loss It'd be a big opportunity for the Bearcats as they would move up to number two if the Bearcats can claw their way back. A loss tonight and an SFA win brings them within half a game of the Bearcats and a top three seed would there be in danger. New Mexico State has the off night tonight. They are in Las Cruces watching at home, watching all of this unfold. Grand Canyon sitting at 10-5 and five right now. They can smell blood in the water. They're trying to work their way back. Abilene Christian and Utah Valley trying to make a big push, and that's how competitive the Western Athletic Conference is this season. The top seven teams all in a big chance to win the WAC tournament. Cal Baptist, RGV, and Chicago State, they would round out the field in Vegas at the 8, 9, and 10 spots. Lamar would be the one left out. And then as a reminder, Tarleton and Dixie State are not eligible due to NCAA transition rules. That is the road to Vegas for this one tonight. We are still at the break, 41 8 to 28, I should say, between SFA and Sam Houston. Battle of the Piney Woods, Hardwood Edition, Part 2. Can the Bearcats claw their way back? We sure hope they can. And we'll get you back over to Rob Hip here in just a few moments for the second half, live here from William R. Johnson Coliseum in Nacogdoches. Thanks for tuning in here to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM.
Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove. Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pipp here for Sam Houston Men's Basketball. Man Wagner powered by the Bearcats Sports Radio Network, 41 to 28. As Sam Houston trailing, they will have to find a way to start bearing some shots from downtown in the second half. And also limiting Stephen F. Austin, as you heard Carlos, if you were listening there at halftime on that halftime show, 21 points from behind the arc on SFA's 7 of 13 shooting. So the Bearcats will have to find a way to get back into this one. They've got to shoot better. They started to shoot better as the ball game went on, especially towards the late moments of that first half, shooting 12 of 27 from the field at 44%. It's just been too much by Stephen F. Austin, 16 of 28. And again, seven of 13 from the three-point line. Savion Flag, by the way, only five points in the first half. He has never had a game as a Bearcat where he has not scored in double digits in all 27 of the 28 games that the Bearcats have played. So he'll try to keep that streak alive, but more importantly, Sam Houston trying to find a way to win tonight. Our eyes will stay on that Seattle U and Utah Valley game, that's a very close one, 15 to 13. Utah Valley on their home court leading with 6.54 to go. The Bearcats will just have to do their part. Friends, I believe in them. We can do it here in the second half. You know they had a good conversation at halftime, and they're ready to rock and roll. We'll get the starters back on the court to start things here in the second half. Savion Flagg, Demarcus Lampley, Jaden Ray, Tristan Epe, and Javion May. We'll inbound here in just a few moments. Across from the scores table on the opposite sideline in front of some of the S. Stephen F. Austin fans, 20 on the board. Willis will be on May, the official, in just a few moments. Takes one dribble. He will hand it here to JV on May. And here we go. The second half is underway here in Nacogdoches. Jaden Ray will control it. He'll flip this one and a slam home right away. An alley oop goes to Savion Flag. Bearcats trail by 11. That's the way to get things started for the Sam Houston Bearcats. The Jacks will bring it here from right to left. It's over to Solomon at the top of the three. Chest pass goes to Willis down, and here's a shot that's easy in for Gavin Kinsmill. Oh, Kinsmill making it look easy as he responds there. On that left side, able to find one in there for the Lumberjacks. Here's Jaden Ray back to the right side from the left elbow, trying to weave through defenders, almost losing his handle on the corner. Tristan Epe there to bring it back. Over to Lampley, three on its way. This one won't fall. And the Bearcats now 0 for 9 from downtown. Lumberjacks back with it here on the left side. It's Solomon over to Cacleries on the right wing. Fires this one over to Joss Giselle. Giselle. Thought about a jumper, goes to Cackery's left wing. Cackery's had a good first half. Solomon up front, 10 on the shot clock, weaving his way inside off the left side of the glass. No good, a rebound by Gavin Kinsmill. Kinsmill up top to Giselle, guarded by May. Sidearm pass to Solomon. Here's Giselle, left wing three. Good. The trail Giselle from downtown. It's a 16-point Lumberjack lead. The three-point domination continues. 
Cats back over. It's to Jaden Ray on the right side. Ray fires this one over to May. May near that left wing. Up top goes to Sabian Flag. Flag will find Lampley. Another three. This one good. Turn on the lights, baby. Demarcus Lampley finally finding one from downtown for the Bearcats. That's their first three in 10 attempts. It's 46 33. 18 minutes to go here on the Miller Time game clock in the second half. Giselle has it up top over to Ken's Mill and back over to Cackleries, back to Giselle at the top of the three. Left-handed dribble around, he goes. He'll drop this one. Solomon Jumper is good from the free throw line. The Jacks have been able to respond on virtually every Sam Houston mini run that they have went on. Aiden Ray into the front court. Cackleries on front of him. The Bearcats will move from left to right. Right-handed dribble. Ray, he finds a little separation, takes a floater, this one no good. Rebound, Epe, flip it behind his back and good. Off the right side of the glass, what a play by Tristan Epe. 48-35, Jack's up front here. They've got it back on the left side, 17-16 to go in the game. Willis up top to Cacker, boy, he's pushing off with that left arm. They're letting him play. Solomon swinging it down low to Kinsmill. Kinsmill is held up and a foul. Kensmill will go to the line here to shoot two. The foul is on Tristan Epe. That's his second personal and the first team foul of the second half. And that will take us to a 30 second timeout. Actually, we'll go ahead and stretch it to a media timeout as SFA calls it. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Bearcats trail 48 to 35 from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us live from William R. Johnson Coliseum in Nacogdoches, Texas, on the campus of Stephen F. Austin State University. 48-35, Lumberjacks men's basketball leading your Bearcats. Still a lot of time in this one, though. 17.07 to go as we're just under three minutes on that Miller Time game clock here to start things. But boy, this SFA team, they have made four of their last five three-pointers. And they have continued that here in the second half of play. Sam Houston, though, finally finding a little bit of life from downtown on a Demarcus Lampley three-pointer. He missed the first one of the second half, made the second one. Bearcats are now one of ten overall. They are shooting three of five here to start this second half at 60%. But the Jacks have responded three of four from downtown. One of those was a three-pointer. We'll get back into here as Kinsmill will shoot free throw here on the left side. To him coming up here for Gavin Kinsmill. A six foot seven senior forward on the left. He'll take a couple of right-handed dribbles, right-handed free throw, rattles in and good for Kinsmill. The leading scorer on this team averages 16 yes, points a game in 30 minutes. He's played in 26 games this season. Made the first free throw. He's already got eight points, now nine, I believe. And he'll have one more to get into double digits on its way, and he will not. Rebound Savion Flag as he had the position down there on the missed free throw. Here come the Bearcats, trailing friends, 49-35. Jaden Ray will bring it here in the front court from left to right. Cackleries is on him. Jaden Ray off the high screen from Savion Flag. He'll go to Flag. Flag thought about a three. Here's Ray with the three. This one rattles in. Boy, was halfway down. And a foul, though, on the rebound attempt. It will stay with the Bearcats. That foul is called on Calvin Solomon, his third personal. 
And the first team foul of this second half. So Solomon will come out of the ball game and Eddie Hall is in here now. Eddie Hall in for Calvin Solomon. Bearcats inbounding, 20 back on the shot clock. Jaden Ray, way up top over to Javion May. It's a little Ray to May. Back over here, Ipe, Ipe trying to skip inside the paint, flip it up, left-handed shot drops in for Sam Houston's Tristan Ipe. 49-37, Bearcats trail, 16-30 to go in the Miller time game clock. Here in the second, Kakaris, right-handed pass up top to Kinsmill, who's been simply dominant here in this ball game. Over to Willis on the right wing. Back over the left wing, Giselle, near the three-point or free throw line. Bounce pass goes down low. Kinsmill turnaround jumper. Late whistle here and a foul on him. Let's see if this one's on. Jaden Ray was down there. It's actually going to be on Tristan Ipe. So Ipe picking up his third personal, second team foul by the Bearcats as Kuba Kowalski set to check in here in just a few moments. That was in the act of shooting. And so Gavin Kinsmill at the line here. Two free throw attempts coming up. Split the pair earlier on his last possession. Kinsmill already in this ball game, nine points. So he'll take a couple of dribbles here. Bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot off the front of the rim. That one well short. So Kuba Kowalski will come in for Tristan Ipe. Ipe with three fouls so far in this ball game. He has a quick discussion with head coach Jason Hooten in front of us. One more free throw coming up here for Kinsmill. Missed the first one. Score remains 49-37, 16-16 to go. Second free throw, no good either. Rebound, knocked away and it stays here with Hall. Jacks have it, straight away three. This one rimming it out, no good. Sam Houston, Savion flag, muscles down the board here. On the near side, a tray over to Lampley. Right wing, bounce pass back over to Ray, up top to Savion flag. Flag launches this one over to May. Back up top to Flag using his right hand to direct his offense. Swings it over, he finds May. May is trapped. Separation, right side no good. Rebound goes to Hall. Good move down there, Javion May just couldn't find it. Here's Giselle on the left wing, quickly back to the left side. May on him, right handed pass up top and a whistle and a foul down here before the shot. I think that may go on Kuba Kowalski who just checked in. It is on Kuba, that's his first personal. And the third team foul by the Bearcats. That'll take us to another media timeout. 15.38 to go on the middle time game clock. Sam Houston trying to find a run, but trailing 49 to 37. Stay with us, friends. We'll be back in 90 seconds. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates, too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrate. Back at it here from William R. Johnson Coliseum in Nacogdoches, Texas. Rob Pip for Sam Houston men's basketball. 49-37. SFA up front, 15-38 to go on that Miller time game clock. Sam Houston not shooting bad here. Four of eight from the field to start things in the second half. But the Jacks have responded three of five at 60%. Overall, they're shooting 57% so far in this ball game from the field. The difference has been the three-pointers. They're eight of 15, 24 points from three-point land alone. Sam Houston only one of 11. Going up against a team that normally only makes 32% of their three-pointers and averages about 75 points a game. So we'll come out of the timeout. It was a foul a little bit earlier there. Not in the act of shooting. And so Sam Houston play a little bit of defense here. 
Cackle Reese in the ball game, goes over to Kinsmill, guarded by Savion Flag. Kinsmill backing down Flag, right side. May have got a hand and blocked it. Kuba Kowalski has the rebound. Here comes Jaden Ray, good defense down there by the Bearcats. Ray flips it over his left shoulder, back over to Savion Flag. Back to Ray here on our near side on the right wing. Guarded by Cackle Reese. Flips this one up in the air, and it's going to be a foul here on Latrell Giselle as he was holding Dante Powers. So Giselle will pick up his first personal, second team foul by SFA here in the second half. Savion Flag still playing in that ripped jersey. They never found one for him. The officials decided to let him play. Dante Powers inbounding just in front of us. Finds Jaden Ray here on the right wing. Ray guarded by Cackle. swings it around to the right side of his hip. Back over to Dante Powers at the top of the three. And a whistle here and a little bit too much aggression. We'll see who that one is on. It, I didn't see who that foul was on. I believe it was on Trail to sell possibly. So that's already his second personal that quick. Third team foul. Bearcats with it here. 17 on the shot clock. For Dante Powers, top of the three. Savion Flag setting the screen. Powers elected to stay behind it. Down to nine on the shot clock. Powers trying to work inside from the left elbow. He'll jump up here with a hand in his face. Tough shot. No good. The rebound drops right into the hands of Gavin Kinsmill. Here come the Jacks leading 49-37. 14-47 to go on the middle time game clock. Kinsmill launches one over to Cackleries on the right wing. Ray guarding him. Swing it around over to Giselle, back up top here into the hands of Hall. Hall over his right shoulder to Tazino. Tazino throwing one down there to Giselle. I don't know if he went for a three, but Giselle was down there and picked it up. Down to five on the shot clock. Bounce pass down to Hall. Hall, Kowalski was on him, and a foul here by Kuba Kowalski. Not in the act of shooting, so Kuba will pick up the foul. That is his second personal, 14 foul by the Bearcats. And two free throws coming up here on the left side by Dayday Hall. He's a 74% free throw shooter, played in 26 games, started three of them. He averages nine points a game in 20 minutes. Here he is on the left side, bends his knees, right-handed free throw delivery, bounces off the back of the iron, no good. Stephen F. Austin not doing a good job tonight from the free throw line either. They are now three of eight. We'll have one more coming up here. One more free throw attempt, missed the third one, did Dede Hall, next one on the way, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, no good either. Savion Flag able to tip it over to Kuba Kowalski. Kowalski back on the near side to Savion. Savion will move from left to right, right-hand dribble back to his left, high screen Kowalski, Kowalski calling for it, Savion's trapped down there, looking for a teammate. He'll find Dante Powers and it's stolen by Tazeno. He tried to slam it home and missed it. Here come the Bearcats, Jaden Ray right wing, Savion back to Ray for three, short. Savion up in the air, can't pull that one down. Rebound to Day Day Hall, and now it's turned over and out of bounds by come Jackson on. Posey. No Posey turning it over, goes right back to the Bearcats. They've got to control it here. 49-37, Bearcats with a chance to get it back to within 10, they're trailing. 13.52 to go here in the second. Sam Houston hasn't scored in the last two minutes. It's Jaden Ray on the right side. High screen, Kowalski. Ray working through it, wiggling traffic. Over to Kuba Kowalski looking for the oop, and Kuba couldn't put it down. It was a tough pass. Jackson Posey has it from the Kinsmill rebound. Posey into the front court on the near side from right to left to the right wing. Holds the ball over his head, strikes this one to Hall. Now over the left wing, ball to Tazino. Javon Grant getting set to check in in front of us. Jacks with it here, down to 10 on the shot clock. Pick up the dribble, Giselle, and goes down here to Tazeno with a hand in his face from Kowalski. Offensive rebound, Hall. Hall puts up one. This shot, no good. Battered around. This one finally into the hands of Jaden Ray. Here come the Bearcats. Ray turning on the Rockets, and an offensive foul. Ray a little bit out of control down there, and Latrell Giselle taking the charge. Jaden Ray's first personal 15 foul by the Bearcats. 49-37. Inbounding here are the Lumberjacks. Javon Grant is in for Jaden Ray. It's Gavin Kinsmill set to inbound the basketball. Ball goes in here to Posey. Posey almost losing the handle quickly over to the left side of the court up top, Kinsmill. Kinsmill finds Solomon on the right wing. 
Ball goes back up top to Solomon. Solomon trying to work inside here. Hop, skip, dip, good, left side. 51-37. Bearcats trailing 12.44 to go on the Miller time game clock. Javon Grant to the right side. Right-handed dribble. Fires this one over to Powers. Back up top to Flag. Flag and a reach-in foul here as he was driving in on Day Day Hall. That's his second personal fourth team foul by Stephen F. Austin. Not in the act of shooting. As yes, David Cackleries checking back into the ball game here for Day Day Hall. Sam Houston set to inbound opposite sideline of our scores table in front of the fans here on the right side. Dante Powers inbound to Javon Grant. Grant way up into the air to pull it down. Here's Grant, he'll find a separation. Flips this one off the left side. Oh, nice little English baby as he rolls it in and good. 51-39, Bearcats trail. Jacks back to the left side. Tazino has it on the right wing. Powers trying to strike it away from him. Over the head, pass goes down to Kinsmill. Gilbert Kowalski guarding him. Chest pass to Posey on the left wing. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Pass down low to Solomon in the paint. Flip this one over, Kinsmill. Laid up and good. 53-39. 11.51 to go here in the second. Sam Houston back to the right side. It's Javon Grant. Grant back over to Kowalski on the right wing. Guarded here, Solomon. Kowalski bounced. Javon Grant flips it over the back of his head. It won't fall. But he's fouled on the right side and two free throws coming up. That foul goes against Gavin Kinsmill. It's his second personal. And the 15 foul. That will take us to a timeout. We'll take it with him here for a full 90 seconds. Bearcats trail 53-39. Free throws coming up. When we come back from Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Back here in Nacogdoches, Texas, thanks for joining us this evening for Sam Houston men's basketball, trailing the Lumberjacks 53 to 39 with 11.37 to go on the Miller Time game clock. As always, a lot of good friends joining us in the booth. My good buddy David Engstadt saying, uh, he's, or Jonathan Knobloch also joining us, saying, man, we need some stops back. Couldn't agree more there, Jonathan. Always a pleasure to hear from you. Jonathan makes the trip from Houston, brought his mother to the last home game. There's only one more home game, by the way, for the Bearcats, that is coming up on March the 1st, or March the 3rd, rather, at Bernard G. Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. Make sure to get your tickets at GoBearcats.com. This game today made possible in part by our good friends at AGB. No store does more than my AGB. Sam Houston to shoot free throws here on the right side. Javon Grant, 5'11", freshman guard in there. He'll take a couple of dribbles, spins the ball in his left hand, right-handed free throw shot is good for the freshman at the bottom of the net. He'll have one more opportunity. Javon Grant with seven points, three of three from the charity strike. Trying to stay perfect, and he does. The big free throws there by the freshman. 
53-41, Sam Houston trails, still plenty of time. They've got to get some defensive stops and make shots back the other way. The Jacks will bring it into the front court here. Cackleries has it on the right wing. Grant guarding him, down to Kinsmill. Turns it over, Grant on the court, but he drops it right back over to Cackleries, and it goes out of bounds. Boy, it looked like for a moment it may have went off Cackleries. And they say it does not, so it will go right back to the Jacks here. Another tough break for the Bearcats. Tazeno setting the inbound here in front of the fans on the opposite sideline. I think Coach Hooten is having a discussion with the officials saying, man, that thing looked like it went out of bounds off of the Jacks. The official on the sideline over there saying that the ball touched the ground off of Sam Houston. So inbounding here is Tazeno. Here for the Jacks on the left side. Inbound goes over on the left wing to Posey. Posey guarded by Dante Powers. Right-handed pass over to Cackleries. Cackleries stepping back on the right wing. Finds Kinsmo at the top over the left wing. Tizano thought he had a three. Pulled it back down over to Cackleries. Down here now to 10 on the shot clock. Guarded by Grant. High screen Kinsmo. Cackleries takes a three. Hand in his face. Short. And it drops over. Ball goes up top here to Tristan Epe. One on two. Flip it over to Grant. Push from behind. No call was there. Javon Grant has it, picks up his dribble, finds Savion Flag. Flag on the right wing as he throws one in the air on Jackson Posey with his bows. Goes over the corner, here's a three, Grant, too short. This one, the putback, no good by Savion Flag. And a foul against the Jacks on the rebound attempt. It'll go on Jackson Posey, it's his second personal. And already 16 fouls by the Lumberjacks here with 10.38 to go. Bearcats trailing 53-41. Not in the act of shooting, one more will put the Cats in the bonus. Javon Grant setting to inbound way up top over to Savion Flag on the right wing. Flag darts one down, shot good Javon Grant. Oh baby, he threaded the needle. Javon Grant was open on the right side, laid it up off the glass. It's a 10 point game, Jacks lead 53 to 43. Cackleries has it at the top. Stepping back near the right wing, launches this one to Solomon. Back over at the top of the three, picks up his dribble to the right corner to Zeno. To Zeno, he picks up his dribble. Fine, Solomon. Solomon over to Cackleries. Cackleries thought about a three, drives in, flips one up high into the air, knocked out of bounds, and it goes off the fingertips of the Bearcats. Looked like it went off Solomon's fingers, but only three seconds on the shot clock as Latrell Jacell checking back into the game here for Jalen Jackson Posey. Dante Powers will come back to the bench. He'll get a high five from his coaches. And in now is Jaron Cook. Three seconds on the shot clock for the Jacks. As they're on the right side of the baseline. Kinsmill goes over here to, or Kinsmill takes a shot at the buzzer. No good, rebound flag. It was an inbound pass by Cackleries. Here come the Bearcats, a chance to get it back to single digits. Javon Grant turns on the juice. Flips this one back over, turns it over to Solomon. Poked away though, Javion May stayed with it. He'll find Savion Flag along two, left wing, no good. Slam it home, Tristan Epe. Epe saw it the whole way and slammed it in off the front side of the rim. The Bearcats have clawed their way back into this ball game, trailing now only by eight, 53 to 45 with 9.34 to go. We'll step aside, we'll take a break for 30 seconds. Stay with us from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 53-45, Bearcats on a tear here as they are finding some rhythm. The Lumberjacks on their home court have went scoreless over the last 228. DeMarcus Lampley finding some life, making three of his last four shots. Sam Houston only trails now by eight points here in this ball game. They trailed by as many as 18 back in the first with 234, but it was 39 to 21. But Sam Houston here trying to find some life. They have outscored Stephen F. Austin by three, 15 to 12 here in this second half. Latrell Giselle has it for the Jacks. Back up to Kinsmill from the free throw line. A chest pass goes here to Tizano. 
Left wing, Giselle, the three is no good. Ipe tried to save it. It goes to Giselle and back into the hands of Ipe. The Bearcats with a chance to continue their run here on a 6-0 run over the last 235. Javon Grant has it on the right side, guarded near center court by Cacoris. Finding separation, threading the needle, Tristan Ipe, left side good. Oh, baby, the eyes by Javon Grant as he sliced it right between the eyes down to Tristan Ipe. It's 53-47. Lumberjacks with the lead, 8.44 to go. Kinsmill right side and one. It's a blocking foul called against the Bearcats. And it goes on Savion Flag, and he can't believe it. His first personal 16 foul, and an and one coming up here on that left side by Gavin Kinsmill. It's an 8-0 run by Sam Houston. Kinsmill here will try to put a stop to that. Well, he did with the two points. He's looking for the and one. Here on the left side, Gavin Kinsmill. Takes a couple of dribbles. Here's the right-handed free throw. No good. The old adage, ball don't lie, works in the favor of the Bearcats. Savion Flag pulls it down. Here comes Sam Houston. Javon Grant from left to right. At the bottom of the Texas logo is FSA. He'll take a three straight away. It's no good. Savion Flag pushed from behind. There's no call. He's frustrated. And Giselle has it. He'll throw it up. It's ripped out of the air by May. Jaron Cook on the far side, slowing things up. Goes back to Javon Grant. Hooten calling for the push. Grant flips it over to the corner. Batted around. Jaron Cook turns it over. And a travel here is called by the Jacks. It'll go right back to the Bearcats. The Jack fans are not happy. 55, 47, 8, 10 to go. On the Miller time game clock, Sam Houston back with the basketball. As they will inbound on the sideline, opposite way across the court from the scores table, Javion May. Looking to inbound here, he'll find Ipe, batted up, goes back to May. May, he wants to work. Picks it up from the right elbow, bounce pass up top over to Cook. Cook to Javon Grant. Grant's been the spark here. He'll float this one left side, no good. The tip and the putback, good by Savion Flag. Flag now with nine points, Bearcats. Trailing 55 to 49, 750 to go. Kakaris for the Lumberjacks, has it on the left side, guarded by May. A little right-handed dribbles as he'll dance this one down over to Kinsmill. Kinsmill handoff on the right wing over to Solomon. Solomon almost gets it stripped away, throws it over his head. It's knocked away, turned over. And here's Javon Grant and the Bearcats, a chance to continue the run. Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby! It's Jaron Cook from downtown. And the Bearcats only trailing by three, 55 to 52 with 7.27 to go. We'll step aside on a media timeout. The Bearcats on a 10 to two run, baby. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Hey, y'all. Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see no bull bill you'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to bill fick ford you trust them to build the ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it no deposit required and you still get a no bull deal it's buying made easy bill fick ford your no bull headquarters check them out online bill fick ford huntsville.com back at it here friends we'll get that scoreboard updated for you here in the second half for those of you in the booth bearcats are trailing 55 to 52. They have went on a ferocious run here over the last few minutes. Trailed by as many as 18 back in the first. Sam Houston though not giving up, trying to stay alive here and do something that Coach Hooten has only done two times in his career. 
with a victory here in Nacogdoches, Texas. Very hard place to play. In fact, the last time that Sam Houston won here at SFA was in the 2018-19 season in a 68-57 victory. All time, the Bearcats only 17-32 on the road at SFA with those records dating back on our record sheet to 1973. I want to thank you for joining us here. Greg Gunnels in the booth saying, eat them up, cats. And my beautiful fiance, Bridget Brennan, back in Huntsville. Love you, sweetheart. Saying, let's go, boys. She's watching the game, listening with our beautiful daughter, Braylon. 55, 52, 7, 27 to go. Sam Houston finding the life here. Send us those messages. Let us know you're out there listening. The Bearcat fan line is open. You can text us at 512 522 9105. And we'll get to those as well. Diesel, cheering them on. Ace from Dallas, Texas. We'll get back into it here. The Jacks have it. Moving from right to left, it's Jackson Posey. On Javion May, Posey to the left wing, right-handed dribble. Working it now from the right elbow, trapped down there by Sam Houston. Back over to Posey. Good defense as Tristan Ipe stepped up. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Posey still trying to find an angle. Boy, wide open lane, laid it up and good off the left side. He was patient with it, found the lane. Back to a five-point lead here for the Jacks with 6.58 to go on the middle time game clock. Sam Houston, Jaden Ray will bring it to the front court. Ray is on the court alongside Savion Flag. The pass goes to Flag at the top of the three using the left hand to direct his offense. Down to Ipe, left elbow, driving in. Ipe, flip it up and good! It's hand one! Did they give it? Nope. Did they call? Oh man, they called a charge. They called a charge against Tristan Ipe. That is four fouls now for Tristan Ipe. And the seventh team foul by the Bearcats. And the next defensive foul, SFA is now in the bonus. They have 16 fouls. 57-52, 6.43 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the ball game. As the Jacks will bring it into the front court, it is Posey from right to left, May on him. Posey, the right wing, backtracks. The left-handed dribble, still has it. Switch off, Savion flag on the defense. Up to Kinsmill. Kinsmill guarded by Ipe. Kakaris, the pass goes to the right wing. Inside the paint, Kakaris is trapped down there. Loses the handle. May is on the court. Oh, baby, the defense by Javion May. Javion May fought hard for it. Kuba Kurwowski will check back into the ball game. Jump ball, possession arrow will stay with SFA. But only three seconds on the shot clock. Tristan Ipe will head over to the bench as the fan favorite Kuba Kowalski checking in for him. Again, three seconds here for the Jacks as they will inbound right side of the rim. Kakaris goes over to Hall. Hall takes a quick jumper, right ring, no good. Kowalski ball bouncing around, and a big seven foot two man hauls it down. Over to Jaden Ray on the far side from left to right. Ray wanting to push the issue. Hooten telling him to go for it. Here's Ray, he'll backpedal, finds Kuba up top. Kuba darts one down low, May right side, too strong. And the rebound, knocked out of bounds. Savion Flag almost had it, but it was knocked out of bounds by SFA. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock, 5.56 on the middle of time. Game clock here in the second. Bearcats trailing 57 to 52. Jaden Ray to inbound, Bearcats need a basket here. Jaden Ray launches this one over. Jaron Cook from downtown. This one too strong. Boy, May looked like he was held up down there. Wow, they call the foul on Javion May. Unbelievable as Willis was under his legs and knocked him to the ground. Hooten saw the same thing that I saw. He can't believe it. Wow. So that foul is going to go <laughs> on Javion May. His second personal eight team foul. And now one and one coming up here for Willis. There's a lot of, there's a lot of embellishment on both those kids right there, I'm just saying. So Willis with a one and one opportunity. Diego Willis, an 80% free throw shooter, only four of five this season. Played in 21 games, averages two points in nine minutes. Here's the first on the front end, and it's no good. Savion flag with the position, and it goes out of bounds off the Bearcats. <laughs> Gotta haul those in. It bounced off Savion Flag and Jaden Ray out of bounds. That will give the Jacks another chance here. 20 back on the shot clock. Leading by five, 57 to 52, 550 to go. Willis to inbound, Jaron Cook on him. Ball goes into the backcourt over to Cackleries. Guarded by Ray. Cackleries using his left hand to push off. Has it into the front court now. At the top of the three, back over his right shoulder to Solomon. He'll find Posey on the right wing, guarded by May. Posey with a head pass down low and a over the back foul here on Kuba Krawowski. 
So Kubel will pick up his third personal. One and one again coming up here for SFA. It's nine team fouls by the Bearcats. One and one here for Kinsmill on the left side. 64% free throw shooter. And he is only one of five here today. This one on the way, the first one is good. So he'll get another opportunity. 58-52. Cooper Kowalski will retreat to the backcourt. Now he steps back into the front court. Maybe a little bit of confusion down there. One more free throw attempt coming up for Kinsmill here. On the court for your cats, it is Flag and Cook down in the keys alongside Kowalski and May. Jaden Ray waiting at that three-point line. Kinsmill, one more free throw chance here on the left side. His team leading 58-52. So he'll take a few dribbles from the right hand, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot. This one is no good. Savion Flag hauls it down. Bearcats looking for a basket here. They went scoreless over the last two minutes after their 10-2 run earlier. They got them back into this ball game. Trailed by just three. Here's Jaden Ray on the near side from left to right. Bounce down to Savion Flag on the right baseline. He's double teamed, knocked out of bounds by Solomon. With 14 seconds on the shot clock, the ball will stay with Sam Houston. Jaden Ray set to inbound here on the right baseline. On the right side of the court, looking for a teammate. He'll find Cook, right wing three, way down there. This shot too short. And the ball, boy, being held up there, goes out of bounds off of the Jacks. Kinsmill and was holding Jaden Ray there, and the ball goes out of bounds off him. DeMarcus light him up, Lampley checking back into the ball game. He will come in for Jaron Cook. Cook had a big three earlier. Went a little bit cold, though, as after that shot, but always good to have him out there on the court. One of four from three-point land. Bearcats, by the way, have only made two three-pointers in this game. Inbound pass over to Jaden Ray from Savion Flag. 15 on the shot clock for Ray. Ray trying to work the dribble here on Posey with the left hand. He'll rotate over the left wing. Inside the paint, Ray flips it up too strong. Shot's not there. Rebound hauled down by Solomon. Here come the Jacks quickly. It's Willis. The right corner, Cackleries to the right wing. The left-handed pass over to Willis. Back we go to Cackleries, standing on the A of the SFA logo near center court. Chest pass to Posey on the left wing. Posey picks up his dribble here. Good defense by JV on May over to Kinsmill. Back over to the right wing, it is Cackleries. Cackleries thought about a three from the top, fed it down low, Kinsmill left side, good. 60 to 52, 4.32 remaining. Bearcats gotta find a basket here. Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court from left to right, 4.26 to go. High screen, Kurwowski, Ray working around it. Finds Savion Flag. Flag only nine points in this game. Down low to May. May left side and one. How about that for Javion May? And then one opportunity coming up here for Sam Houston's Javion May. The foul is on Gavin Kinsmill, his third personal, seventh team foul. Kuba Kurwowski will head over to the bench. His coach is having a talk with him, and <laughs> Kurwowski didn't want to hear it. He went right over to the bench. Back in, Tristan Ipe. Ipe, though, with four fouls. He's got to be careful here. JV on May, an and one opportunity. May is playing his heart out. Three points in this game, one of two from the charity stripe. On the right side, free throw on the way. It is no good. Rolls in and out. Rebound by Solomon. Here come the Jacks. They have a six-point advantage for 11 to go. Cackleries into the front court. Javon Grant guarding him. Left-handed bounce pass goes to Willis. Willis. Over the right shoulder back to Solomon. The pass goes right-handed pass now to Cackleries from Solomon. Cackleries down low. Kinsmill was wide open. Right side good. Cackleries making the binocular reference as he held his hands above his eyes coming back the other way. 62-54, 3.47 to go. And Cackleries all smiles. He smiled at the Sam Houston bench. Javon Grant has it on the right side. Boy, he's pushed there, and that's a foul on Jackson Posey. His third personal, eighth team foul. One and one coming up for the Bearcats. That will take us to a timeout. We'll take it for a media timeout. 90 seconds, Bearcats trying to find a way as they trailed by as many as 18. They clawed back, trailed by three. It's been separated now. Stephen F. Austin leads 62 to 54. We'll be back in 90 seconds. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. 
Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates, too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at it, Brands Bearcats shooting 42% here in the second half, 11 of 26, only two of 10 from downtown and two of 18 from overall. That's really the difference maker right now. Sam Houston trails 62 to 54 with 3.37 to go in a ball game. So we'll come out of the media timeout. The Jacks have made three of their last four. Sam Houston has went cold, only one of their last five. After getting back into this ball game, Jackson Posey making three of his last four shots. Savion Flagg, by the way, only nine points in this ball game. He has averaged double digit points in every game that he has played in, all 27 of them for the Bearcats. Devon Grant here on the right side. He's had a good game. In double digits with 10 points, the freshman four of four from the free throw line. One and one here, first on the way. It is good. And Devon Grant with ice in his veins continues. His good shooting from the charity stripe, now five of five. He'll have one more coming up. 62-55, next one on the way, good as well. Javon Grant remains perfect. 62-56, Sam Houston trails by six. Still a lot of time, Solomon. Bearcats showing a lot of pressure here in the backcourt. Solomon gets it over to Willis, and the ball goes out of bounds. It knocked out of there, I believe, by Tristan Ipe. So it will stay with the Jacks, five seconds off the shot clock, 25 on it, 3.32 to go here on that Miller time game clock. As Diego Willis set to inbound this, Demarcus Lampley's out there, all your starters basically, except Javon Grant is out there for Sam Houston. Grant trying to steal it from Cackle, he's good hustle, he's gonna get back here. He's gonna leave one open though, Posey, Sam Houston's Grant getting back quickly, that's great defense, he was trying to snag it from Cackle. Cacklerys has it here, near that left wing. JV on May guarding him, trying to kick it down to Willis. Guarded by Lampley, Willis with eight on the clock. Spins it up over to Kinsmill. Kinsmill, by the way, with four fouls. Here's a three, this one no good off the front of the rim by Cacklerys, and Sam Houston has the board. Here come the Bearcats on the far side, 3.02 to go. Trailing 62-56, Javon Grant on the left wing. Cacklerys on him, Grant. Couple of right-handed dribbles, feeds it down. Ipe waits, puts it up, no good. Rebound May, right side, good baby for Javion May. 62-58, May staying with it, 240 to go. Posey from right to left, his team with the lead. A slight advantage by four over to Cackleries on the right wing. Guarded here by Grant, guards this one to Posey. Posey back over to Kinsmill. Kinsmill flips this one up over to Solomon. Solomon on the right side. And boy, we've got a little bit of extracurricular down there. JV on May battling with Solomon. The whistles fly. And we'll see how they sort this one out. They're going to go review this. So the officials, I believe, calling for the review to see where that one actually went. So wait a minute. I think Sam Houston saying, we want this ball. They want the one and one. And if so, it should be Sam Houston basketball. Officials are going to review this one. We'll step aside. We're going to go back to the flagship studio to Carlos Zimmerman for a scoreboard update. Carlos, over to you. Thank you, Rob. Back here inside the flagship KSAM studios. Want to give you an update from down the street over at Johnson Coliseum. SFA beating Sam Houston in the night 73-258. The undefeated Lady Jacks continuing their incredible run in the WAC 15-0. and Now the Bearcats now fall, I believe, to 8-8. Eight and eight. Across the WAC on the men's side, Abilene Christian all over Lamar, up by 30-58-28. Utah Valley is up on Seattle right now with 11 minutes to go in the second, 43-37. Tarleton on top of UTR 
RGV 61-43. They're halfway done in that game. And then Dixie State and California Baptist, the Trailblazers leading 11-9. Got a good finish going for you in Nacogdoches. Let's get you back to William R. Johnson with Rob Hip. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate all your fine work back at the flagship studio. Officials in front of us still looking this one over to see where it is. And for the moment, I believe that it may be. We're waiting to see what happened down there. They were looking down there to see if there was an elbow that was thrown. The officials are telling the Sam Houston guys to get back to their side. They're going to have a third official come by and get his opinion on this. Had a couple of these big stops. This is critical, friends. 62-58, Sam Houston trailing by four with 2.24 to go. Bearcats in the bonus. SFA in the bonus. Sam Houston with 19 fouls, SFA with eight. The one and ones coming up for either team on defensive fouls. The officials are still having a discussion here, trying to sort through it. Good crowd here as always at William R. Johnson Coliseum. A lot of time here for head coach Jason Newton to talk things over with his guys and see how they can finish this one out. The officials are still had, they know how critical this is. Again, the officials talking just in front of our table. We'll try to get some direction here. So it was a double technical called on uh, Savion Flag or Javion May, I beg your pardon. So it was on Javion May and also, I believe, Jackson Posey. So the double technical is where it's going to sit at. Both of those players were battling each other down there. That is the official call, so double technicals. Javon Grant on the left side. He has been perfect so far from the free throw line. The freshman has ice in his veins in this ball game. Six of six with 12 points. And it doesn't appear that they're gonna shoot here. So they're just gonna say double technical, no free throws. And Savion Flag to inbound. I'm not sure why they're not shooting them here. So Savion Flag will inbound. It is Bearcat basketball. So we take about a five minute break and all that sorted out. Bearcats have it here. Moving from left to right, Javon Grant with Posey on him. He will not shoot the free throws. Grant has it on the right side. Battling around through defenders at the top of the three. Grant still working his dribble here. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Using his right arm to direct traffic. Grant with Kinsmill in front of him. Down to nine on the clock. Finds Javion May to Lampley, corner three. This one no good, but he's fouled. And to Marcus Lampley, he did it all last year. We haven't seen it much, but he has drawn three free throws. To Marcus Lampley on the right corner. He'll have three coming up, critical free throws here for Lamp. We know he can do it. Lampley only a 56% free throw shooter this season, 19 of 34. None more critical than these right here this season. On the right side, a lot of noise in the gym. First right-handed free throw, good. Demarcus Lampley buries the first one. 62 to 59, two straight up to go. Two more free throw attempts here by Lampley. He'll take a very deep two breaths. Wiggles his feet up to the free throw line. The second one from the right hand on the way, good as well. 
Oh, baby, it's a two-point game, 62 to 60, one more for Lamp. Javion May, Savion Flag down there in the keys. One more for Lampley. The same ritual, two deep breaths on the right side. The third one on the way, this one no good. And the rebound here goes to the Jacks. Lamp making two of three, 62 to 60. Sam Houston trails by two, 140 to go. Posey has it on the left side, May guarding him. Posey back up to the top. Trying to work down inside, takes a jumper on its way. Good, boy, what a shot there. Absolute dagger, 64 to 60. Javon Grant will bring it. Coach Hooten wanting the timeout. And the Bearcats will take it. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment, friends. This one's gonna come down to the wire, 64 to 60. Let's go to a full 60 second timeout. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Welcome back at it, friends. Rob Hip here. Thanks for spending your Thursday evening with us for Sam Houston men's basketball on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network from Van Wagner, 64 to 60. As Sam Houston has never led in this ball game, trailed by as many as 18, with 2:34 to go in the first when it was 39 to 21. The Bearcats they have outscored Stephen F. Austin 30 to 21 here in the second half. Bearcats shooting 42 percent in the second half. The Lumberjacks, 45%. The difference so far, though, the Jacks have only been one of five from downtown in this second half. In the first half, they were seven of 13, eight of 18 overall, 24 points from downtown. Sam Houston only making two of 18 so far in this game. And I think that number may be wrong because it's been sitting on that for quite some time. I know Sam Houston has taken a few more threes than that here in the second half. Javion made an inbound just in front of us with 1.30 to go. May is out there, flag, Javon Grant, who's been a spark. Javion with only nine points in this game. Javion, May again to inbound. Tristan E. Payne to Marcus Lampley, eagerly awaiting as well. Here's May, fires the inbound over Javon Grant. Grant directing the offense here. Grant said, my bad to Lampley, now passed it to him. Lampley bounces it up top to Savion over to Grant on the left wing. Grant looking down, bounce pass to flag, right side, good! Savion flag in double digits with 11 points off the Javon Grant assist to the right side. It's a two point game. Jacks lead 64 to 62, 103 to go. Posey has it on the left side. Under a minute to go, Hall at the top. Chest pass to Posey on the right wing. Down low, Kinsmill, Epe battling for it and it goes out of bounds. It's off the Jacks. It's off the Jacks. I think the officials want to review this one. Well, they'll review this one. They didn't review the one at the end of the second half for that clock, but they're definitely going to go review this one here to see who it went out of bounds off of. We're trying to look at it on a monitor. Oh, that was close. I think it may have went off the jacks. There is a monitor right next to us, and it's so hard to see down there who it went off of. Tristan Ipe was down there, thought about saving it, and then he retreated because he thought it went off of a Lumberjack player. So the officials are looking this one over to our left side. I don't believe we can see what they see over there. They did show a couple of them on the uh, WAC stream on ESPN Plus just a few seconds ago. But they'll continue to look at it, 64-62. With 51.9 to go, this is a critical one here. Tristan Ipe was down there. And I think I just heard one of the officials say white ball. They're going to look at it again. If that's the case, it will be with the Lumberjacks. It is. Lumberjacks will have it. 
So it does go to the Lumberjacks. With 51.9 to go, the Jack fans are on their feet. Sam Houston will look for the defensive stop here with eight seconds on the shot clock. They are huddled up near center court. Bearcats back down there. It's JV on May, Lampley, Grant, Flag, and trying to see who else it is. JV on May, Javon Grant, Tristan Ipe. Cackle Reese to inbound here on the right baseline. Looking for a teammate, eight seconds on the shot clock, trying to get it in. Kakaris launches this one over to the corner. He'll find Giselle. Giselle back around to Kakaris. Down to two, down to one. Has a three on its way with a hand in his face. That shot no good. It is back to Giselle. An offensive rebound. And now a foul here against the Bearcats. It's going to go, I believe, on to Marcus Lampley. Lampley reached in on him. Could not believe the foul. Ten team fouls and two free throws coming up here for the Jacks. 39.8 to go on the Miller time game clock. And Giselle here on that left side. Boy, he is almost automatic. A 90% free throw shooter on the season. Giselle, his first time at the charity stripe here on the left side. He'll bend his knees, the first one on the way, and it is good. Three point game. One more coming up here for Latrell Giselle. Kakaris comes up, gives him a pat on the back. On the court, by the way, for Stephen F. Austin, it's Kinsmill with four fouls. Kakaris, Tenenzo, Hall, and Jackson Posey. One more free throw to make it a four-point game here for Giselle. It's on its way, and it is good. <laughs> Sam Houston got to make a basket here, trailing by four. 66-62, 39.8 to go. There's a 9.8 differential from the game clock and the shot clock. Savion flag set to inbound over to Javon Grant. Bearcats have got to push quickly. Javon Grant into the front court. Over to the left wing. Grant down to Posey. Here's Savion flag up high. No good. Epe with the board. Goes to Javion May. Flips this one back over to flag. Flag to the corner. Here's a three. Epe buried it, baby. It's Epe from downtown. Unbelievable shot by Tristan Epe. And the Bearcats will have to foul. That one looked like it was knocked away. 24.8 to go, and how about that for Tristan Epe on that right corner. That was his fourth three-pointer of the season, now four of nine. And none more critical than that one just moments ago. 66 to 65, SFA by one. And the officials again gonna review this one and see who it went out of bounds on. We'll take 30 seconds. Actually, we're gonna keep it right here. I think they're gonna talk things over. There's a lot of excitement going on. I'll try to deliver what I can find to you as these officials talk things over. The crowd here is chanting SFA. They're looking at this one on the inbound. Savion Flag was on it. That ball came in. So. Not sure exactly what happened down here. The official was in front of us. I think that they say it was knocked out of bounds by Savion Flag. That was what it is. So the Jacks will inbound again here. It was knocked out by Savion Flag. Day Day Hall to inbound. Bearcats have everybody in the backcourt. And Jaden Ray with a quick foul on here on Latrell Giselle. Good foul there by Jaden Ray. They got to get it into Giselle. They do. Of course, he is the hot free throw shooter. Made the other ones earlier. But it was Tristan Epe with a three. Bearcats still have some life here. By the way, they don't have any timeouts remaining, though. SFA has one remaining. 66-65, 23.6 to go. And the trail to sell the 90% free throw shooter here for SFA on the left side. He'll have two coming up, takes a dribble. A couple of them, spins it in his left hand, right-handed free throw on the way, no good. Oh man, he missed it. Jaden Ray over to the bench. Dante Powers to the bench, back into the ball game. It's Demarcus Lampley and Tristan Epe. Now the Bearcats just have to hold on here, trailing by one and get a shot, 23 seconds to go. Giselle, next one on the way, good. Makes it a two point game. Again, no timeouts for the Cats, but plenty of time on the clock, 23.6 to go. 
Trailing 67 to 65, here we go. It's Javon Grant into the front court. Grant to the left wing. Down to 16 seconds, he'll find Lampley. Straight away three, this one off the mark. Rebound, put back, good! Oh, mama, it's good by Sabian Flag, And we are tied at 67 apiece. Here come the Jacks, down to six, and a whistle. And I believe we got a timeout here by the Jacks. They take their last one. We have a tied ball game, friends. 67 apiece with 6.1 to go. We'll be back. We'll take it for 60 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. We are tied up here in Nacogdoches, Texas, 67 to 67, 6.1 to go. The Lumberjacks will have it and try for the go-ahead game winner. They have taken the clock down to five seconds. The Lumberjacks have not lost since January the 26th back at Seattle University in a 70 to 62 loss. They are on a six game winning streak. The Bearcats on a three game winning streak, trying to stay in the upper ranks of the Western Athletic Conference as Utah Valley is way ahead of Seattle now, 50 to 38. That doesn't matter, we'll get back into this one here. Posey to inbound, throwing this one down low, Ken's Mill off the right side, it's no good. This ball battled around, and a foul here. Oh my goodness, from three on Jackson Posey. Javon Grant fouled him with 1.8 to go. The Bearcats don't have a timeout remaining. No timeouts for any team. Kinsmill knocked his fist on the side of his head in dismay that he missed the shot down there. Bearcats looked like they had an opportunity for the board, but instead three free throws coming up. And Javon Grant, boy, that's a tough one for Grant. He has had such a great game. He is beside himself right now. Jackson Posey to shoot the free throws here on the left side. With 1.8 to go, the first one on the way. It is no good. He'll have two more chances. The Bearcats still have some life with 1.8 to go. Two more here for Jackson Posey. Missed the first one. He is now 0 for 1 today from the free throw line. Normally a 69% free throw shooter. Makes the first one and takes the lead 68 to 67. 1.8 to go. Tazeno will check back into the ball game here as Giselle heads over to the bench. Javion May. Jackson Posey, one more free throw, leading 68 to 67, 1.8 to go. This one on the way, it is good as well. It's a two point game. Bearcats will run their touchdown play. Dante Powers to check it in. He'll launch this one over. It's knocked away, that's the ball game. Powers launches with the buzzer, that's it. And the Bearcats. A tough loss here as they fought back. They tied the game, but a foul there by Javon Grant sent him to the line. And SFA victorious 69 to 67. Friends, it is always so tough to play here at this arena. We'll step aside, we'll take a break. Post game coming up when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners The Grove. 
Tough Shirts, and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. We're here in post game, friends. Sam Houston men, they fought back. They were down by 18. They played with every ounce of energy they had. An unfortunate ending there as SFA won it on two. Free throws, 69 to 67. I know Javon Grant is upset with himself, but that freshman had easily the best game that he has had as a Bearcat. I know on that foul, he's in the locker room. He's upset with himself. But I got to tell you, man, he had a lot of heart in this ball game and helped start that run. Javon Grant finishing with 12 points, six of six from the free throw line. That young man has nothing to be ashamed of tonight. Sam Houston, not able to hold on. They did out-rebound SFA 36 to 32. We'll quickly look here at the team stats. 36 to 32, 15 offensive rebounds for the Cats, 21 on the defensive side, 15 assists or 13 assists for Sam Houston, 14 turnovers. They had 10 steals, 42 points down in the paint, 18 fouls for Sam Houston. For the Lumberjacks, 32 rebounds. They were out-rebounded by Sam Houston. 11 offensive boards, 21 defensive. They had 19 assists, 16 turnovers, one block, seven steals, and 28 points down in the paint. We'll step aside. We'll take a very brief break, friends. When we come back, we'll go over individual stats and we'll close this one out. Stay with us from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Need service work on your vehicle? Then drop on by Wiesner Huntsville and meet the new service and shop managers to see what better customer service feels like. Meet their GM factory trained technicians who are skilled with state-of-the-art factory diagnostic equipment. Wiesner service hours Monday through Saturday are convenient and local shuttle service is readily available. Experience the service difference at Wiesner Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates, too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, y'all. It's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often and you will soon be driving up and down that honky tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, member FDIC. In our final postgame segment again, 69-67, the final tonight. Sam Houston men's basketball, hard fought contest. They were not able to hold on and find a way back in this ball game. They never led in this game. They did tie it at 67 apiece. 
But then those two free throws as SFA went to the line, shooting three, made two of them. And on the ensuing inbound, it was knocked away, and Sam Houston again falls here to the rival SFA. They've only beat them two times, going back over the games back at home under head coach Jason Hooten. And just a tough one here tonight. We'll quickly look over final stats. There were three players in double digits for Stephen F. Austin, Gavin Kinsmill. He was in foul trouble with four fouls. He had 18 points in 33 minutes. Heck of a game by that young man. Latrell Gassell, 15 points in 23 minutes. He was four of six from the field. All of those were three-point shots. He was three of four from the charity stripe with four boards. Also in double digits, Jackson Posey had 11, four of seven in 23 minutes. Finally, for your Sam Houston Bearcats tonight, leading all scores. How about Tristan Ipe's effort tonight? Seven of 10 from the field. He had that critical three that got the Bearcats back in this ball game with an opportunity. He had four fouls, but he was able to play in the final moments without committing another one. Six boards tonight for Ipe. In 26 minutes again, he had 15 points. Behind him, the Texas A&M graduate transfer, Savion Flagg. Six of 13 from the field. He was 0 of 3 from downtown, 1 of 2 from the charity stripe. He had a double-double tonight, 13 rebounds for Savion Flagg. He pulled down 13 of those, five assists, two steals, only one foul, three turnovers. He went the distance again. Full 40 minutes, 13 points for Savion Flagg. Javon Grant, the freshman, 3 of 7 from the field, 0 of 3 from downtown, but 6 of 6 from the charity stripe. He had three assists, two steals, only one foul and two turnovers in 14 minutes. The freshman, Javon Grant, with 12 points. Also scoring tonight, Demarcus Lampley, three of seven. He had one of five from downtown in 28 minutes with nine points. Javion May had seven. Jaron Cook had that one three. He was one of four from downtown. He had three points. Demarcus Lampley and Kuba Kurwowski each with two. Also, Jaden Ray had four. So that is your final. You add everything up, 69 to 67, as the Bearcats could not overcome the very tough Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks here tonight, as Sam Houston will fall to 17 and 12 in the season and 12 and four in Western Athletic Conference play. Still nothing to be ashamed of. They've had a heck of a season for a team that was predicted to finish seventh. They have really turned heads in the whack. Stephen F. Austin will improve to 19 and eight overall and 11 and five in Western Athletic Conference play. Well, friends, as always, it's my joy and honor to bring you these games. This broadcast has been authorized under grants, under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks, as always, to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichert, and, of course, Cody Stark. The studio operations were by KSAM, Carlos Zimmerman, back at the flagship running the dials for us. He was also our scoreboard and halftime host. We appreciate you, Carlos. And, again, tune in for that next broadcast. It's coming up. We'll have it live from Phoenix at Grand Canyon, 6 p.m. on Saturday. We'll have pregame starting at 545 right here from Van Wagner on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network and in the booth at KSAM1017.com. Friends, as always, I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there tonight needs you. Good night and God bless from Nacogdoches, Texas. We'll see you next time, friends. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away.
You're listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.